right? Uh, a one D eight. That's what your thing does. Yeah. Hello, yeah, <laughs> dreamers, and welcome to the abyss. It is time to join our heroes as they descend into the very heart of the vampiric schemery. When last we left our heroes, much like getting on a boat in Berserk, more time has passed than you might have expected in the real world. But in the game, it's been but seconds as they stormed down the stairs with their erstwhile betrayer in tow, planning to take the fight to the vampires calling themselves the Daughters of Calaris, who they have found here in the undercroft of the Temple of the Sun. Wait, Lee, have you read the news chapter of, like, Berserk? You know what that man is going through on that boat? <laughs> Wait, it's still going? Yeah. The, the assistants are continuing to make it, yeah. Yeah, have you read that news? Have you seen what the Guts is going through right now? <laughs> I just know that one time when they went on hiatus, they had guts getting on a boat, and the hiatus didn't end for like a long time. No, no, that's Hunter X. That's Hunter X Hunter. Oh damn! <laughs> you're you're Sorry, wrong. I'm messing that's up the, my that's, that's my the other, manga that's the references. Other, yeah, that's the other manga series that will probably never be completed. Just saying. But the guy who makes isn't dead yet, so. <laughs> yeah, you're right. He's not dead. He's just I think he gets like ill often, or he gets off topic a lot. Right. Which He's is not. Fair. At least it's not tax evasion. Tax evasion. Yeah, yeah, that's true. All right, so we you, you descended non manga real. You you've TV. descended into <laughs> you descended on? into a true hell of itself. Manga <laughs> references, meta manga references relating to the business surrounding mangakas Look, engraved just, upon the I... walls of the Tagorian tombs. Here, just... where the tomb actors are to descend after engaged in tomb theater, you see Graven. I... On one side, Just... Jaeger. On the other side, Jaeger. The the hunters of the damned. And you, you rush down these stairs, and to quickly remind our dear viewers, uh, they last overheard three powerful entities discussing what was to be done. They seemed to have a great plan in the works, but they also knew that there were some interlopers on the way to bother them. They were... Pelton, who seems to have several human beings under his thrall. He was a rather uh, sprightly undead human. Uh, Gorana, who seems to be calling the shots, so to speak. And Falmos, an entity that spoke with many voices. And the only solid thing about it was perhaps its mask. Below it, a swirling mass of vampiric. So... Oh. The three await you in the chamber where you have unleashed the Gaugar, the Hounds of Heaven, which were once ensorcelled, defend a defiled altar, not realizing what had happened, or the trickery laying upon them. And yeah, I think that that, I've, I've, uh, I've said a lot. You have caught us up, yeah. So, uh, at this juncture, I would emphasize you're all here, right? Mm. And you hear a snapping and a snarling of teeth. Coming from either end of the uh, the way out around these uh, stairs. Like run. <laughs> oh, I can't remember. Did we have a sense of direction of the... The shrine on this level, on the hey, lowest Pat. level. Hey, Mouse, how you doing? Uh, you, uh. Yes. The altar? I think... Yeah, I sorry. Thought, I think I have, um. The detected an evil up. How? Right? Isn't that a 30 foot range? Yeah. I okay, so what you sense. That was what death. you sense is you sense celestials to the southeast and southwest of you right That's now. Right. Um. I can tell you, I mean, I know where the altar is, and it's not within 30 feet of you right now. So you haven't oh. sensed it yet. Okay, well, we were we were basing it off of the celestials. Well, right, you were basing it off of the fact that there's two celestials to your south. Well, the equidus is in either direction. Oh, Parker, thank you so much for the sub. An excellent sub. Uh, join us here tonight. And, uh, oh, a hype train is close. So... Yeah, uh, Lumi smells something. 
dog-like, uh, but also um, brimming with a scent like the morning dew. She snarls. Uh, you are all rushing in Verdnos, running down the stairs behind you. Says, quickly, quickly, we must find the altar. Um. Darren, it looks like you're talking to muted. Give me one second. Sorry. Okay. Jin. Is the. Oh, God, Darren. Does the stream have audio going through? Well, um, yes. Yeah. Why? Okay, let me try refreshing that then. Because <laughs> I don't hear any audio on it. That's why I, that's why I was like muted everything for a second, just so I could make sure I could hearing the Twitch. Um, um so we have like, you know, a quick second right now, right? Like it's a little lull in time. I mean you are actively moving down the stairs somewhere and enemies have seen you and she is going down, so that really depends on how we want to define a few terms here. But you're out of uh, combat, so you're not worried about Oh my oh my fucking god, are you kidding me? Yeah, no, someone just said that they can't hear anything. Oh no. What the fuck no, I, I'm looking at my microphone, HyperX quadcast. Wait a minute, you can okay, so now you can hear us, Parker. But I didn't do anything. Hold on. Oh, fuck me. Uh, Darren, do you just maybe see something really old on screen? Uh, yeah, it's like a couple minutes to, like, behind. Oh, but, I mean... Into the fucking... All right. I mean, I hear the audio now. I just have the fresh page. All right. right side. Well... The only change know. for me is that the ground is now green. Oh, the that's because of me. Oh, oh, because no, of the that... tech thing. Ah, okay. Um, but so if I have a quick moment, uh, I want to pull out a flask and drink another brew. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I mean, Gavancho, what are you doing? Gavancho, um, you know, ever since he came back from the dead, he's had all these flasks, you know. Oh, man, they also get like a raging alcoholic. From... <laughs> he's, he's taking to the drink. <laughs> nah, I don't know about that, but. I'm gonna be using this to gain um, resistance to necrotic damage for an hour. All <laughs> right, a wise investment. <laughs> oop, uh, oop, shit. Uh, uh. <laughs> All right. Um. So how far are we from the altar? We don't. Well, there's there's some more of those. I I think. It's probably more of those dogs to the like over that way. Um, oh. The altar has to be there, right? That's a pretty good guess, but I guess we should go. Oh, actually, do you think thoughts on this? <laughs> As we're like probably just walking towards it, do you think we should try to split them and try to distract them more? You're, you're, you're at this point, like, yeah. what, do you, unless you hold here, like, I'm assuming you guys keep moving, so, like, Zion, yeah, yeah. you're here, That's you a, step around the corner? We're or? just, we're just walking as a you think we should, like, try to split right. up and try to make sure and their like, attention's, Lonnie, like, Lumi, in. I don't know if you're going there, but, yeah, you immediately, <laughs> uh, Zion, see a Galga right to the south, uh, they snap and bark at you, growling. We are, we are most definitely not splitting up. I say we go to the next altar. And, uh... Oh, that's right. We're in a new IP, so we need to change that setting again. Yeah, for the panning thing. That's, like, yeah. one of the first things I did. <laughs> I think we it should... It hasn't been 30 minutes. <laughs> it lasts for 30 minutes. What oh, lasts wait. for 30 minutes? Wait, did I write type 30? Oh, Is it 30 or 10? <laughs> I think it's 10, sorry. When yeah, sorry, it's it? 10. 10 minutes. Um, I casted it when we were like talking to people. People at the altar? Um, and I casted it before we uh, purified the altar up top. Like, um, the yeah, others were talking with the brainwashed people. 
And yeah, then yeah, it hasn't been 10 minutes. You yeah, entered you're good. combat. Yeah, I just like, I don't know how long it's been. So whenever you think 10 minutes has passed, or honestly, who knows, I might still. Yeah. But you have it up. And do you go around the corner? Or are you, which yeah. way are you going? That's, that's so, uh, that I'm heading towards where I think the Celestials are. Well, you also think there's a Celestial right here. There's equidistant Celestials left and right. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll follow the group. <laughs> All right, so um, the Galgare here rears its head looking at you. There is sort of this mist to its uh, flowing light eyes. It is a creature, uh, both physical and metaphysical, before you. A uh, sterling light coat, and it barks at you, howling deranged. Verdno uh, says, it is another. Uh, is yeah, it friendly so. barking? <laughs> No, it's <laughs> not an altar. Um, uh, you see two passageways here: one emptied vessel of blood, and one full and turgid with life's red ichor. Do we know how easily these things break? Like, I'm pretty sure okay. Lonnie earlier Lon right? with her stick, uh, and Lonnie it broke. was able to break one, so <laughs> that might yeah. say something. <laughs> Um, I'm sure if we took a swing at it. Break as in, like, break. put the Galgar to zero HP, or break as in, destroy a container of blood? Sorry, break as in, destroy the container of blood. Oh, um, you, you need to put a competent hit behind it, as long as it's not like a wet fart, you'll probably break it. It's, just, it's, 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 it's like, it's heavy <laughs> That's glass. That's good to know. <laughs> good to be you can assume Lonnie broke one, because there was shattering glass. Now, whether now what she had to do to do it is a different matter, but uh, she do have some I mean, for all Kibab to know, that was Lumi that did that, not Lonnie. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> so, so about right. a Lumi, uh, oh, great. Yeah, about you know, I I bet that altar is in the in the hallway over there. <laughs> um, considering the design of this place, you know, I can only assume it's near here since the wolf's here. Is it uh? Is it doing anything else besides growling at us and howling at I us? I mean, like uh, when you step about this close, nearby. it looks like it's ready to. It, it looks like it's not gonna wait forever before it starts throwing down. Uh, you recall last time when you purified the altar? Uh, they kind of, you know, turned around on their desires. Yeah, as you can see right here, Lonnie, um, there's another one mashed opposite. It stares down Lumi, and Lumi stares it down in return. So if we rush it, can't get all of us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're gonna need to go past one of them. You also know there's an active fight to the <laughs> south, and you hear, like, punching and ripping and... Oh, yeah, we definitely as, just need to... And, you know, crashing. We definitely just need to go for it, and... Whoever gets caught up oh. in the first attack of it just needs to try to ward it. Okay. <laughs> the sounds of violence. You were saying, Tentel, as like, we're like walking towards yeah. it anyways. Why are we walking towards a run? <laughs> Indeed. So, we're being patient and you know, letting you speak. So do you want to try and beat down the Gauger or are you just trying to run past it? I say run past it. I say whoever gets caught, oh. you know, you're, big, you're, you're a big person. You can probably fend it off yourself. Wait, All right. Let me go. Uh, God damn it. <laughs> As we just run. Yeah, I'm assuming Lonnie runs around the other direction. Uh, oh. No, don't do that. I guess I heard them just say run, so sure. Um, All right, Lonnie's it's... going to cast Shillelagh, though, on her staff. Um, that's not right. concentration. All right, the and she's also going to try to do a swing at the vial of blood as she runs by. The Galgar uh, bites and laps at you. Um, I will be the first to break off if that matters, Lee. Um, I, an 11 doesn't hit any of you. So, you guys <laughs> rush out. Uh, Lonnie, give me that swang. Uh, Lonnie's gonna tell Verdon. I was like, if you stick close by, he it can't hit both of us. All right. No, he's going <laughs> over there. But like, can hit, or can it? it? He'll follow. Does it have multi attacks? But can hit one of us. <laughs> yeah. Um. So he's he's gonna he's gonna make the run with you. Uh, you're sprinting by. Your big stick flies out, and let's see, let's see, let's see. This is where our NPC dies. 
<laughs> With a hard and heavy thud, you hear the first custom sound effect I have mixed for this campaign. As uh, glass Ow. and blood that was loud. go yeah. Holy shit, that sounds cool. It sounds cool, but yeah, it was a little bit loud. No. All right, how do I... Um... Oh, they're not on. Uh -huh, I see. No. No. What? Oh my god, do I put them on the character layer? Apologize, I'm DM failing right now on how Foundry works. Um, it's been awesome. Like, we're all rusty. Okay, okay. No, no, no. I, I got it. I got it. Bam. Yeah, so uh, blood and glass uh, f goes flying. Little bits of wax uh, looming in the face. Uh, she steps over the glass, and uh, the gal gear nearby uh, really goes ham, trying to like rip your fucking throat out. Yeah, but I figured. You have sanctuary up, don't? No, you don't. No, I don't. All right. Um, so the gal gear attempts to uh, give you a whittle kiss. Yeah, that's why it'll probably attack me and not you, buddy. That doesn't hit. All right, yeah. So, um, yeah. as Verdnos runs by as this is happening, not <laughs> losing this chance, and I believe that you guys sprint by these doges immediately, and you you rush to the southern chamber, right? Yeah. Does breaking yeah. op do anything, Lee, or or we just the Galgar has has gotten an op and failed to hit any of you? So, okay. I'm gonna let you guys filter sure. out like about you know like a movement <clears throat> from where you are. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna see some some friendly faces uh, when you come in here as uh, you gaze upon the three assembled and there uh, Mignon who uh, has failed to defeat you once already a Galgar uh, like ripping open the mouth throat of this vampire belt and stepped back and said, "Oh, really? Is that the best you can do?" Come now. Put your back into it. And uh, reaches out and thrusts through the Galgar's side and twists with his spear, cracking and killing beast. the beast. A white Aww. light escaping from it. The other Galgar rushes to try and gore Pelton directly. Um, I'm sorry, buddy. But right as it does, he turns, eyes upon it. Their gazes are transfixed, locked for a moment, neither acting. From Falmos uh, to the southeast, you can see a massive sphere of uh, ash and dust moving around his main form. Garana, meanwhile, summons her hand blood, thick red flowing blood in the shape of a sword that hardens itself, prepared to strike someone down. So, uh, they oh, turn to the north, wait. see you, and Gorana says, So it's you who intrudes upon the daughter's Achilleris. I see the humbly late mercenaries have decided to intrude. Well. Pelton, do you th still think that we should try and ply them with treasures? And Pelton says, Oh, I think it's fine to jest. Get to the stabbing. Fulmos says, They're here, they're here, they're here. I taste, I taste, I taste. I'll rip, I'll rip, I'll rip! And fulminates, <laughs> growing a further five feet in their aura as the thing barrels towards <laughs> you. Um, hello, friends. It's, uh, it's initiative time. Pull that character sheet up. You know, and with I thought, initiative, I, I, I get Dawn back, right? <laughs> you know, honestly, I thought, I thought we were just going to talk this out. Now, I'd like to remind you, know? you of something. I'd like to remind you of something oh, that you all know. When you guys first <laughs> came here, and this was like two months ago, I guess, because of like it was like, you know, several sessions of Dungeon and then mm -hmm. this. Um, you guys noted that there was a very weak floor, a big circular weak floor in the middle of the temple. When you look up, you see a straight like 90 feet up. When you when you're not right now, but under the white bit of floor, you would see that. Oh what the fuck? Whatever. <laughs> okay, so I have a 16. Because <laughs> right. I get plus seven. 
I, I thought it would do it like any other role. It'll give you like a prompt. It does not. <laughs> ah, and uh, I think there's um, a setting to allow that. But nah. is there? Okay, whatever. Also, Lee, there. Uh, I don't know if anything came from this, but I think like last time I waxed some of the blood. I think like my staff started like glow or something, <laughs> right? I don't actually know what came of it. Like mm. something it started absorbing the blood, or uh, yeah, yeah was, something was happening. Yeah, with the was, staff. it was, it was like, like manifesting. It got something. like rudy. Yeah, it, it was glowing with the rudy. particular blood that you found in that chamber. Yes. Um, Did anything happen when I whacked this one? Uh, it looks like it's faintly glowing, but it's kind of hard to tell if it was brighter okay. earlier. I'm sure everything's fine. So. This is normal. It's time for Wait, Epic Battle can Music. Change... MP4. Actually, can I change my own initiative? No, I can't. Oh yeah, sorry. Oh, well, just... What's it's what's a sixteen? It's a sixteen. Yeah, I'll fix it. Yeah, because it's nine plus seven. Update combat. <laughs> you rolled a D eight. Yeah. Thanks to his buddy Cabancho, who is dead. So, reminder: you can adjust the audio on the audio if you if it gets too loud for you, but. Elton, um, does not give a fuck about this dog, right? Seems to have, for the moment, gotten it under control. And he dash, he, I don't, he doesn't dash mechanically, but he moves very swiftly, you would know. He gets he right dashing. here. Uh, detect good and evil. Uh, I'll try starting it one more time. Uh, and he gets right here, right? Uh, which is the one we fucked up? Uh, you haven't. Uh, th this guy right here, not the guy on the ground. He got tackled by the Galgare that's now dead. Oh. Helton raises a hand, and there is another chattering. I'll turn the audio down a little. Uh as he uses a blood charge to summon the blood spear. Are you... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, okay. I was about to not be happy with Boundary. Uh, so, friends who are in this line, make a deck save. Uh, I don't know, uh, Kai. Have we given the thing a dex score? Um, <clears throat> no idea. Assume oh, a the machine of no name. Assume it has a dex this line. Sorry, I'm uh, I, I'm I drew it. Part of this line. No, you're not. Oh, I'm not. Okay, it's thank a, God. It's, it's just a line. It's five foot wide. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> Dang, that machine was like, it was break dancing. <laughs> it don't need no deck score. Yeah, it's like, I'll just move to the side. So it, so Let this. Let me get advantage. You're mounting it, don't you have the feet? Yes, deck save. Deck save. Yeah. So a nearby uh, container of blood cracks and it flies into Pelton's hand and he just tosses this shit right at you as this fulminating, burning, twisting blood as if though live with the sorrow of life and the memories haunting it rips thud, thud, thud through his targets. Uh... On failure, they suffer both piercing and necrotic. <laughs> so it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't say half on success, so I'm gonna say it's uh, fully negated on success. Nice. Good shit. That's 29 Ooh. damage coming at you. Oh, fuck. Bear in uh, mind, <laughs> nine of that is necrotic. So, uh, who failed that? <laughs> hey, Fangor Review. Me! <laughs> uh, I don't know, Zion. You're fine. No, Tenta, you're not pass. in it. Yeah, no, I, I, I didn't. I know, I know. I noticed that. I wasn't in. I was like, thank, thank God. Thank goodness. How thank did you feel God. a deck save, rogue? Because I rolled. I mean, look, I rolled three 
I have three fours on my roll thing. Doesn't that count for something? I applied it to the wrong one. Wrong, wrong robot. I mean, one could say the machine with no name is also part of you. <laughs> uh, is the machine with no name so, part of you, Zion? Helton has made a great thrust. And, uh, yeah, uh, in case you were wondering, Casey, you are taking an undead from Helton's position. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what? crazy! Yeah. Uh, what a twist. What a twist. And, um, he says, come now. I hope my shaft hasn't scared you. And uh, it's time for the Galgare's turns. Uh, this Galgare continues to like fucking fuck up the, uh, the vampire on the ground. Oh god, Tento's in the very back, isn't he? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, really technically, technically our, our prisoner line. friend. Oh shit, he's in the very back! <laughs> Their first friend there, so yeah. Verdnos is next to one of the Galgares, which uh, yeah runs up. Oh, he didn't run past it. I thought he ran past it. Uh, he Buddy. was he, he was running, but you know, sometimes Buddy. some some. I don't think it's gonna matter. Don't He's in the back of this choke point. Then uh, the cheetah, you know what I'm saying? Um, now it rips really through Holy his Holy shit! As piercing and fire damage as this hound of heaven. With a, uh, with, you know, hair and light for a form, rips into his fucking thigh, and he cries out in pain. Ah! As he, he tries to run, he collapses right by our man Darren. He's having a bad time. He's falling, and he may not be able to get up. Um, the God Life Alert. Oh, hey. Hey there, buddy. <laughs> the other, uh,. Galgare is uh, coming around the corner for you, Tento. Light swells up from it and it lunges to sink its teeth into your flesh. Burning light erupting around you. It's 21. You got any way to block that, buddy? Uh, no. Pain, searing pain from a hard bite and burning fire. Lap through your thigh. Ooh, you I got lucky with that puncture. hit. <laughs> yes, thank you for grazing wound through the fat. And, uh, it's the Tento Turnto. So, Tento, um, you're penned in, and there's all sorts of, like, ways in and out of the central chamber that you guys can see. Um, and a reminder, the white stone circle in the middle is clear up to the floor you saw when you were initially at this temple. Uh, so, um, Tento, what do you want to do? What white film circle are you talking about? Like, the, like if you look at the floor to your south, oh, okay, basically okay. everything past yeah. the pillar. Um, and then also, what is this stuff again? The That is Falmos' aura. Okay. It looks, like, it looks like you might have a bad time. <laughs> well, I certainly don't want to get off by this poor thing, so, uh... Get some cover in the back. <laughs> I mean, you also have rope pillages. Huh? You can disengage. You can bonus. bonus action disengage if you want, or you can just play the whoop ass on it. Your choice. Oh yeah, I do have bonus action disengage. Yeah, we're remembering. We're remembering. I mean, Nintendo stands on. there, ready to fight bravely, defend the rear of his dear companion's eye. He remembers. <laughs> Wait, I'm a rogue. I can just fucking <laughs> run away. I can, I can, I can, I can run away. <laughs> I can just move out in a better position. And just like, I, I'm out. <laughs> I will disengage. Why did my sight change? Oh, because I hit the orb thing. The orb, orb thing. I, 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 I have the ruler uh, thing out, and I see the, I see the circle. Now he sees through the orbs side. He is one with the orb, the orb. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll bonus action disengage, move 10 feet here. Alright, be this. Whoop. And, um. Oh, wait. Deppy Wappy. Yes, yeah, so you see there's a passage <laughs> to your east as you run along the outer circle. Uh, the many pillars obfuscating your sight as you dash around. I'm gonna shoot at this lady here. Alright. Uh, Pelton looks at you and uh, he's like. 
off. I see you missed my thrust for the first Oh, fuck! As a laser <laughs> oh, beam fuck. opens up his fucking chest. <laughs> as Tender is whipped out the to find his charger. And, like, just a, just a minute in the middle of her to our him talking. <laughs> and Darren, I will say... Laser beam. Dead depending second. on how you roll this damage, it changes the dynamic of the fight. Yeah, so you deal 25 no, damage. No, if the machine fun was fact, one thing fun closer, fact about it radiant damage. Bigger. Fun fact about radiant damage and vampires, that's 50. You dump 50 Jeez. fucking damage uh, onto Pelton. Who, uh, you can tell he's trying to react, he doesn't have any way to react to that. If the machine <laughs> was one closer, you would have There's a searing, smoking a hole in Pelton's side. He looks down, he looks up. And there's like a wild fire in his eyes. He says, now this is going to be interesting. And uh, he kind of whips up his finger. fingers and he says, <laughs> I'm going to make you the prettiest puppet in my collection. As he crunches a fist. Pento, you almost feel like a blood vessel, all the blood vessels on the front of your head begin to bulge. All right, so Tento, uh, you, you've moved, uh, you're taking you a shot. You see there's a right behind me? You can keep going. Yeah, there's a, yeah, there's yeah, yeah, right here. Right here. You see oh, the the east. right there. Gotcha. <laughs> there's a couple uh, around the the room. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there, this seems like the decentral chamber of this floor. There's all sorts of ways in and out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, doo -doo -doo. <clears throat> yeah, you, you, gonna... you can diagonal step, so you could have. Yeah, I know. It's, it's 10 feet either way. 25 would be right here. Yeah, let's go right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, fuck you! <laughs> he just shot. sticks up his middle finger and says, fuck you, bitch. Uh, if, only, if only I had sneak attack, that'd have been amazing. Oh, well. That Again, if the thing was one step closer. Yeah, the machine closer, was just one step closer. That would have been so good. Alright. And that's where I, I don't know, 50 damage on round one, that's so, still pretty good. Oh, but imagine that was sneak attack, too. So Gorana raises a fist behind her, leans forward, and crunches her knuckles. One of the containers of blood explodes into glass and splatter behind her, and you see brilliant, curling, uh, brutal wings of blood spring from her back and heel as the container clatters to its side. Blood up and down the stark gray-white pillar. Glass dispense as she fucking glides directly up to Kabancho. Oh! Jesus. <clears throat> yeah, and uh, at the end of her movement, from her hand springs again the blood blade, and she says, We are the perfect evolution. I will not be stopped by the petty insolence of some fool. And, uh, yeah, as she comes in, she swings her blood blade upon you. Dang, she was that far, and she still gets to attack? Well, she spent a she blood charge to do it. Oh, that's fair. Okay. So she, there's only so many of these around the boss arena, and remember, you can destroy them. Um, See, like, I, she, I guess we could. Destroy I, I think them. a 29 is hitting, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I like to. I like to. I don't know. Are you Zion? Are you Zion? <laughs> Curry, activate can, shield. Can, can you reaction cast wish. <laughs> <laughs> I can reaction wishful thinking. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah, I think that's got uh, copium right there. Yeah, you take a quick oh, emergency hail. Is that, is that like those little like emergency oxygen bottles? Is copium? Uh, as you take this sting of 14 slashing damage as she rakes your chest. Hey, that could have been hey, worse. That's not that's bad. Yeah. That's like 29 damage from like the first. <laughs> I mean, that could have been. Uh, it was only four off max damage. Almost. <laughs> uh, Flies here to the machine in itself, and it, it, it flies <laughs> up a little, off of the ground, swirls. The ash around it begins to uh, condense, and they just sort of 
force forward. Right, I forgot all their cool moves are not going to be able to do that how it works. Uh, Gat, uh, shoots forward. And Ash Storm. It's flattering a 15 foot by 15 foot area. Damn, guys. Uh, Maybe coming through that one entry was not the best idea. <laughs> I mean, I built the map to, uh, with some choke points yeah. in mind. Um, yeah. Although I probably should have given. Uh... No, no, this is perfectly fine. It's just. Oh. All right, so everybody, I'm not, I'm everybody in that box right now is making a deck save. Uh, so what is Zion, some damage? Zion, I'm giving you advantage on this because you're slightly behind a pillar. Woo. Oh my god. Woo. Oh, come on, Shin. <laughs> yeah, no. Can't do anything with that one. Uh, I hit the damage button, so it should pop through in a second. I'm... So what is wow. on failure at, some damage? Look at the unoptimal play. Could have hit the other machine too, but it didn't. It was a fight though. It was a pillar. Look, he's not trying to min-max it, right? Oh. <laughs> Some optimal is to... using AOE. Yeah, he's I, not, he's I'm not... get, I mean, look, if Fomos drops one more AOE like that, <laughs> we're voting to drop him from the raid group, is all I have to say. Yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> he's, not, he's not trying to be super sweaty, all right? He's a casual vampire monster thing, all right? <laughs> yeah, like, look, they, they log in on the weekends to have fun with the whole Lord of the Night <laughs> thing. All right, so. Look, one more play like that, though, you're out. <laughs> Let me, let me, okay, there's, there's the answer to your question, Shin. 13 damage, for reference, six of that is necrotic. So, it says on failure, some damage, on su six, success, half damage. What, what is the nice some, damage? <laughs> some, some damage? Some damage is the damage that I just rolled, sorry. Some, some sort of damage. I wasn't 100% of what the damage dice were going to be when I was writing it, and I was like, fuck it, I'll just take uh, okay. it. So, so it was more, sort of like a <laughs> play <laughs> I thought you meant like some damage and like partial damage no, on sorry. failure. Fine. Oh, no, some half damage. damage on success. It's fine. Like, all right. Didn't mean to get your hopes That'd up. be a uh, weird move. <laughs> hey, on success, it would be, but... you only get some of this damage. But you said uh, six of it is necrotic? So I only take 10 damage for this. Um, so Falmos gets that for him. And as a... Uh... <laughs> They're going to fly forward, actually. They fly... Or they could just stay there. They fly an additional... Uh, by the way, this thing it seems like it can just keep flying. Like, it, it moves... Almost 65 feet on its turn. It doesn't seem they don't seem phased. Um, they come up here. You feel the choking ash around you, choking, clawing at your lungs. Your blood vessels already strained, Tento. As Falmos flies around to this pillar, raises a hand, sucks in a bit of that essence, and as a bonus action, attacks you with essence spear. Give me a con save. Time to see how down we'll roll. What? Oh, yeah, make, the, make the con save if you're getting yeah, stabbed. Sorry. Ah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you suffer 10 necrotic damage. Whew! <laughs> Um, I mean, as, yeah, so, oh, wait, it's it, 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 it's like, it, it, it splatters so, so all over your have... armor, slides up as Ash is wont to right up into a crevice, and then just rips down into your body, and you feel deadness red. So, I forgot I do have a shield on, or extra or overhelp on, so I'm just gonna take four from this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because you're, yeah, I, yeah, I, just you're, you're I forgot I had first. it. Absolutely, yeah, I had a temp absolutely. Page. You can do whatever accounting with that, uh, we know. Sorry about that. It's all good, you know how it works. Um. So that's Paul Moses go. Lonnie. Um, yeah, uh, everyone's having a great time here. Um, Lonnie's going to move. Oh, actually, fine. Here first. Pass. Uh, Fours on uh, our, our friend up there. Alright, so you soothing spore. Wait, he's not down yet, right? Like, uh, he's still... Technically speaking, he's at zero HP. 
Oh, okay. I can't do. I don't <laughs> think I can do this then. Um. Yeah, so I can't basically won't do anything for him. Oh, oh, uh... And then, um... Bonnie's gonna instead do... Um... Okay, yeah, no, this should hit everyone. Okay. This on all friendlies. Yeah, hit, uh, tap that healing. Um... <clears throat> and, uh... Alright, so... Oh yeah, masculine word. Your boy jumps back up at 9 HP. Max. <laughs> he, he managed to somehow push back the Galgar atop uh, him and stumble backwards. I'm saved! The word! As the mass healing word emanates from Lonnie. And Helton and Gorana are looking at Lonnie real differently after that. And the Galgar um, are as well. The don't Galgar worry almost, about it. The Galgar almost cocked their heads and like look at each other and go, oh, oh, oh. And like they sort of like a flashing of light in their eyes, almost a hint of red at the edge of one of them. As they look to you, the word resonated with them as they resonate with you. And um, yeah, so that yeah, you pop the masculine word. Oh wait, actually, a uh, question. Um, I need fifteen. Um, when when I'm on the altar, they, oh, like, this whole I, place I, I, is. This whole place is desecrated ground. So, you de-desecrated the level above because you turned yeah. back on the altar the right way. You Right now, though, yes, the floor you're on is desecrated. Does it, like, do I get, I mean, I can, I'll pop out the text, but, like, do I feel it if I'm, like, getting, I don't know if there's, like, different levels oh, of desecration? Oh, 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 I get what you're saying. Like, you have, like, uh, like, uh, warmer, it's warmer, it's, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, give me... Give me a perception uh, with advantage to try and feel the way. Also, this is the exact X. And then, sorry, what what roll am I doing? Perception, perception with advantage. You get a vague sense that um, you were closer to the source at the beginning of your turn than you are right now after your movement. Oh, well... Um, that sucks, because I'm now in range. Well, I'm yep. at 15. Uh, Pelton has a, a big fuck-off magic spear in his hands, and uh, he has his other hand twirling his fingers. Is this vampire... This, is, he's just prone. This guy's just prone, right? This vampire is prone and getting the shit ripped out of him by Galgare, so there's like some fire <laughs> up on him. But, so uh, he's like in yeah, bad This vampire way. who's like fought you guys multiple times before was standing up like, oh shit. Okay, he was, well, like, 15, masters, 20, you know, to, you know, all right, all right. 25, I'll take the off. Okay, now let me actually check something about Pelton. Okay, so he's actually going to off you five feet later because he has his... Uh, shaft out. I think that hits. Yeah. And is the verse damage the... Yeah, because he's dealing with two hands. Okay, that's right, acceptable. Nine piercing. Uh, there goes the health I just gained. Um... And this Galgare is one that's on your side, and this one is one that is yeah. sadly deceased. I will hit the blood on my way over. All right, you're gonna crack that. The pulse pounding. Yeah, so um, that's hard enough. The blood goes flying uh, all over you and the staff. The staff is like a light with it, and um, Gorana says, "What are you doing? Don't tell me Don't you're intent on it. enacting some fell red iron ritual." Uh, uh let me. And uh, Pelton says, "They it's have brought iron? their constructs with them. Perhaps they intend to pour the blood into that glorious machine. We'll have to tell Archimedes all about it." 
Uh, Lumi is going to claw at the vampire. Alright, yeah. advantage between both pack tactics and uh, flanking and the enemy being thrown. Yeah, give me that damage. Yeah, Lumi uh, delivers uh, a good amount of damage. The foe does seem to have a lot of health, though. Right, oh, so. shoot. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30, 35, 40. And then Lumi is going to dash. All right. All right. All right. You're crossing the circle. The ceiling above you as you gaze up, looks almost ready to collapse in the point you saw above. If not for a thin, silvery air that seems to hold it off as you cross to the far side. Oh, um, also I will take the op from the vampire if... Um, ground. the one on the ground is too distracted by getting its ass rocks to, um, have a reaction ready. Cool. <laughs> And yeah, that is my turn. All right, you do get the sense that you've moved closer to the altar. Kabancho, um, you are face to face with uh, Barana, a vampire whose limbs snap with articulate martial movement faster than any living ones you've ever seen. And uh, she stands before you, her blood wings, a dissipated splatter on the ground, and her blood blade still glowing and hungry in her hand. She bears her fangs. They seem to drip with something noxious. Uh, thankfully, getting assistance from the dead. I'm going to be casting Spear Shroud mm. with a bonus action. Ah. Oh. Spirits of the dead rise around the Gibancho. And I'm going to choose... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Radiant damage? Mm-hmm. And, uh... Spider's cut. There's, well, uh, I need to make a concentration block. check. Alright, Spider's cut whacks out. And... Your curved, uh, um, black crisscross with white silk blade finds a weakness in your foe's defenses. However, she raises a hand, brushes it, and directly next to her, between her and the other vampire, there is an explosion as uh, a blood charge is expended to cast shield, plus five in her AC. For reference, you would be in her AC by one with 17. So your blade, which would have nearly cut well, is ensorcelled and grabbed by a spew of blood that uh, holds it at bay. Uh, Kabanjo is swinging in. It's not gonna hit. And with unnatural speed, as if the dead was helping him. He gets a swing a third time. Alright, alright, one last go. Oh. Ooh, ooh, okay. Let me tell you, let me put it this way. You feel as if, though, you're certainly just a twist away. Mmm, I wonder if I can pick up this hit. Uh, I don't think you can. You, you don't have to if you don't want to, but um, eh, I want to hit something. I use I use some <laughs> stuff. Uh, all right, so a twist of fate. Yeah, you only need to roll one to to match a new. She she's she smiles cockily and says, "You think your tricks will bring it to you, oh shaman of the anoraks? What are you born yesterday?" And then. As her, Something like that. As her blood is holding your blade back, you slide through her guard and cut her deep. Now, do you also do oh, radiant on top of it from Spear Shroud? Uh, yeah, I do one point of radiant. All right, which means two points against her. She uh, sort of like reels with a cut, looks up, and says, No, this flesh. What? Oh. And, uh, yeah, there's a, a, a fire and a cold dead eyes. I believe that's your uh, Kabancho turn? Yeah, that'll be my turn. My response would be, I'm a humble anorak. 
looking for answers. You have time for a question? And uh, this vampire says, You've come here only to die, fool! And uh, runs up behind you and says, Masters, I have not failed you. Watch how I slake my thirst upon the foes who would disturb your rest. And first, he tries to, like, bat you over the head. Yep. For nine. And then he rears back, and he goes for that hey, sweet, for, sweet... For the first... Oh, first true, true. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna smack him back. <laughs> yeah, he runs Stop up, he that. Punches Kaman upside the head. Bad vampire. He rears back, he's about to bite, he's hissing, and then Metal Fish just crushes a fang <laughs> goes flying, trailing blood. <clears throat> Uh, he turns, he faces, he sees Zion instead, he goes for the bite on Zion. Tink! Yeah, yeah good luck, buddy. Tink. Metal. <laughs> There's no man inside of this. Just a suit. I'll crush you. No, you just need to try harder. I'll smelt you down and use you as utensils to drink the blood of your friend. And, uh, what this, utensil are you gonna make to drink? This you vampire gets up and a says, "Straw utensil." This, this utensil. vampire gets up and says, "Debatably, a straw is a utensil." As uh, he uh, very goes, progressive, you know, using metal straws instead of those plastic straws. Oh yeah. <laughs> and uh, and uh, the vampire, <laughs> as they are like, picking up the Galgar suplex, says, "Of course, we care about the environment. We'll <laughs> still be alive to see it get ruined." <laughs> and. Um, Goes for, the, goes for the pound town on their little buddy. Which little buddy? The Galgare, and they actually oh. fail, uh, singeing their hands and, uh, you know, staggering a little. Um, so between the two of them, it is now Zion's turn. Zion, I'm going to continue to hear you, but my phone is very harsh. Um I'm gonna tell the machine to go destroy the the blood containers. And it's just gonna like fucking punch it, right? Yeah. Um, I get the nearest one would be like, like walks behind Gorana and just fucking like smashes a metal fist into this. I'm gonna give us a concept success. I think it has enough metal that's going around to just smash. It. All right, <clears throat> and then I'm going to cast. <laughs> All right, yeah. What we still need to do? Let's do a second level magic missile. So it will have a total of four missiles, and I'm gonna aim one at each container. Oh, okay. Oh shit. Oh damn. <laughs> this is. Really nice for magic missile. All right. Oh, you, uh, which which uh, which ones do you lighten up? The left side, the right side? Um, let's go with the right side. Okay, so it's like the nearest or uh, oh, like the ones uh, you want the, or that's because I have a hundred and twenty foot. <laughs> you have the whole room. Yeah, yeah so the I'll, whole I'll room. do the the ones back here. All right, all right, yeah. So, so these four. Wait, do you fire? Four. four. Oh, damn, boy. This is such a good use of magic missile. Alright, magic missile. I was like, oh, you can put out a little damage, and then I was like, oh, <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna put out a lot of denial. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, it's just making glass fireworks, okay? Yeah, uh, you know, glass and blood. Um. Garana cries out to see this and pelt and snarls. Um, yeah, so you break four containers uh, in one fell swoop. 
And then, um, hmm. should I stay where I am? I'm gonna stay where I am, and then I will do this and expose my core. Oh, the, the radiant light bands. pours out of you. It is uh, a hateful thing to the vampire. Look away, you perverts. <laughs> oh, God, you're looking <laughs> yeah. for. Okay. Uh, so Verdnos um, runs away from the Galgare, uh, but <clears> also <throat> can't break off range on the vampire, but now also can't break off range on this vampire. So he's here, and he's like, uh, he has a flank, you know, the other vampire. So he, he brings down, um, a club. Oh, oh he's, only in that 20. Oh, he's trying to do stuff. I thought you were just gonna hide, buddy. He's, he's trying to redeem himself. He betrayed you. He squacks the dude for a little bit. You're and, so uh, dead. It's not I'm a so magic sorry. weapon, so it's only one damage actually. Um, and... I'm so sorry, buddy. <laughs> All right, so that's uh, Verdnos's turn. Pelton. Um, <clears throat> Pelton has been, uh, you know, a little fucked up by the various things that Pelton has seen, and is not happy with Tento. So Tento says, I wonder what that beam of yours does to metal. And uh, he twists his hands all of a sudden. And Tento, uh, make a strength save. Okay. Woo! Oh my gosh. So <laughs> he's, like, he's, like, he's like, like pushing his hands. And you are like swishing the Dwarven Divine Discharger to aim it at Zion. <laughs> but then when he goes to pull the trigger, your fingers snap out of the, out of the fire, uh, out of the trigger well. And uh, he's just, oh, what a fuck. And, um. Fuck you too, buddy. <laughs> yes, um. With that, uh. Whew. Elton is going to move, uh. Yeah, right up on Zion, honestly. It's the Galgare's turn. Um, these Galgare are kind of like gal 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 as they uh, <laughs> debate whether or not you know they're on the right side here. I'm gonna give them uh, a wisdom save and see if they figure this out. Does he have advantage because they're, uh, they're, 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 they're like uh, clearly we were supposed to just keep them being through. We'll, we'll ignore everything everything that's troublesome about this. They get bottlenecked here, though, uh, so only one of them attempts to claw and paw and fight and tear at <laughs> Zion. Uh, won't, won't be breaking your AC because you have a high fucking AC. <laughs> Tento. Jesus. Yes, hi. Yeah, Tento, you have that, that choking aura that you're on the edge of a Fulmosa's and you see a, a, a long passageway that heads to the east. Um, you wonder what can be down there. Um, in fact, Tento, you see um, you see like a, a doggy of some Turn. sort down uh, down the passageway. It's almost oh shit! It's another Galgar. Oh hey, I don't think I should go down there then, because hey. Um, they're not, they're not friendly at the moment. Those ones are. Be where we, we want to go. Oh, and the friendly Galgar again tries to, uh, this vampire and this Galgar honestly, like, wind up running around the pillars, like, uh, the Galgar bites, and the vampire, like, jumps back and kicks, and, uh, lots of vampires in the areas above are gay rage to descend, and you feel as if, though, you might need something big to turn the tide of this battle. Potento, it's your turn, Tom. I believe you're poisoned. Am I poisoned? Does that shit poison? Oh shit, did you get speared? Um, yeah, so when you get speared, you remain poisoned until you start a turn outside of his core of influence. Sorry. Okay. Um... Uh... 
20 feet. Uh, this one has plus five armor at the moment, right? Yeah, until her next turn. So she's still got her shield up. She's got blood swirling all around her. Can I shoot at her or him again? Yeah, you can. You can pump him with around. <coughs> um, is there gonna be a? They're gonna get like two AC of cover if you shoot from here. Oh, uh, okay. I'll just move five more feet right here. <laughs> Oh yeah, you get a clean fucking shot on him. You got him lined up in his little toga and everything. And what does poison do again? It fucks up my saves? Disadvantage or? on your attacks and saves. Okay, so this is a disadvantage. Yeah, your shot's a little shaky. 19? 19 is a hit. Let me check, does Pelton have any tricks? He does have tricks, but nothing that's gonna stop this. So you... Land of the beam blaze right into his fucking torso. Holy shit. Damn. It's not over yet. Oh my god! A sneak attack for 23. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, shit, that's all. Pelton's torso is, is terribly attack? seared. Is this sneak attack also radiant? Sneak yep. attack takes the damage, damage of the main attack. Us. Mm, in that yeah, case, that's, uh, be um, real strong. Pelton is almost like reduced to nothingness by this uh, he cries <laughs> out um, in anguish and, and uh, chooses to activate a legendary act actually it's the end of your turn right or no uh I still have a bonus action um <clears throat> where the fuck is Lonnie okay you can see me Lonnie's to the southeast of you yeah she's on Lumi I'll move 15 feet this way. Right. Okay, so there's going to be an interaction here that might you might have to make a ruling about, but okay, so Pelton, so we don't use legendary actions a lot yet, so to introduce you to how they work, have you, you, you encountered them in Tier Dex Taylor we've had, Town? Yeah, so, we, absolutely, we've had a yeah. couple of yeah, legendary but, actions. But, but Pelton uh, uses legendary uh, action here to fucking book it, and it says without provoking opportunity attacks, do we think that overrules... Sentinel? Yeah. That's the that's the million dollar question. I think Sentinel Sen needs the opportunity attack. Sentinel oh wait, no, never mind. It oh, disengage right. Disengage doesn't work. It doesn't oh. make this so that ops don't work. Hmm. The thing is, so it doesn't say that Pelton, it doesn't say that vampires get to active, because like, all vampires have this kind of thing. It doesn't say that they get to disengage, it just says they don't provoke ops when they move. So, this in theory will not proc Sentinel, because Sentinel specifically disengage. Alright, I don't know, does, yeah. that, does that sound bullshit to you, Kai? Like, I would give an argument either way. I don't know, it just sounds... It, it just sounds like... Uh, this thing. Right? It, so it, it, it's, 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 it's basically giving them disengage without using the verb disengage. Probably deliberately for interactions like this. In this instance, I'm gonna let them get away with it, but... Uh, we will review this and... Um, make a uh, make a more firm world future. Pelton runs up to a seemingly smooth bit of wall, slaps a reflective thing, and steps in here, and he uh, opens up a further secret passage that looks like he's trying to get down. But that's his 45 feet of movement. So... Uh, Tento, we were at the end of your turn. Uh, it is Garana's turn. Uh, blood shield goes away. Uh, um... And this is a reminder, we were tasked to stop these people, not particularly kill them, but they would accept death. Yeah, so you can destroy them, it's the leaders that you care about, mostly. Um, but we though we were tasked to stop them, and you know, not be a nuisance. So she whips out her blood blade, and it expands to a massive amount. 
as there is another explosion. Um, <clears throat> and uh, it, it, it swings around as her blood blade rips out towards all her foes within everyone who she wants within 15 feet. So Machine of No Name, uh, Kabancho, and Zion are being struck by this. Or I mean, Gorong I hate to ask, but is uh, Verdant the uh, safe? Is he uh, Ver oh, no. no, sorry, Verdant is also getting fucked. Oh, oh, goodbye, I buddy. Remember. I was not saying it out loud. Um, the chance he could have. Uh, oh, oh look, she, look at that! She only rolls a thirteen. So, um, is it one attack against all of us? Yeah, it's it's the same <laughs> it's attack a plus. All of it's you. a plus eleven. What's, what's Verdnos AC? Verdnos is AC. A, a, a fateful moment here. Verdnos has an a, a grand AC. Of, I like eleven. I already have Verdnos' thing out, and that's why it's something you put me up, isn't it? Probably. Yeah, probably it's open some time. Probably got like a little tab. Although if you double click his token, it should open up uh, Mac yeah, like no. so he, he, he's, he's getting he's getting hit. Uh oh, man. He, if only she rolled a one. Verdnos is fucking down, blood splattered everywhere. Um he's not looking too hot. Uh, Verona then uses her multi to just try and make a regular sword attack against Gabancho. Oh, I can see. Okay. Her blood blade. There's an advantage from a Linky. Yes. Uh, 19 will hit. Alright, so she delivers 12 slashing. Is the poison gone now? No, it's uh, at the start of the turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The turn outside of Falmos' class. So if he uh, moves closer to you, yeah, uh, I've still have it. Yeah, but there is a juicy bait that's not you right now. Wait, is he dead or is he down? He's down, um, but he's not doing too good. Um, so Fulmos's turn. Are they gonna be able to? You know what? They're going for it. Uh, Balmos draws back, flies between Lonnie and Lumi. Uh, sorry, Lonnie and Lumi and Tendo. Uh, that would be really weird, like under the saddle position. <laughs> I was like, um, you're a little closer, buddy. Balmos, Just a sorry, little... sorry. <laughs> Ignore essence spear. Uses aura uh. push to gain 50. Oh, come on. <laughs> yep. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I just got out of that. And, uh. I like the maximum of question mark, question mark, question mark. Team. Yeah, uh. That means it's in triple digits, rages. right? Oh, Jesus. And... I do like you can choose five or 50. Hey, maybe he doesn't want his ore to be that big. And then they go for, yeah, there's circumstances that you could discover that would mean that they don't want, that they don't want that big. Um, <clears throat> but they throw an essence spear at Lonnie. Lonnie, make a con save. And this is actually going to result in them in retracting five feet of their aura. Okay, so... You suffer 15 necrotic damage, and you're poisoned until you leave this aura. Until you begin a turn outside this aura. Okay. All good. Um, so, Falmos' turn. That's Falmos' turn. Um, Lonnie, it is your turn. Alrighty, um... Tento, by the way, have you mentioned anyone that you saw Gal Garrett down that hallway? No, I have not mentioned that to anyone. Okay, let's keep on here. Hmm? Uh, yeah, if you're looking, if you look at your tokens, like, scroll straight east, you do see it. 
Um, healing word at our uh, poor friend go. All right, you get him. Can back you up. reach that far? Sixty feet. All right, so Vernos um, gets. Where back. is he? He's behind the pillar. Vernos. Oh, back okay. He's actually in like one of my blind uh, spots. Uh, uh, yeah. I, I rise again. Can't <laughs> I just stay down? Yeah. Move here. Attack at disadvantage. All right. So Jesus. Who, who are you popping your shot against? Oh, okay. You're, you're just like absolutely dap. You hit that shit so hard you warp the fucking metal as uh, it uh, pops. Uh, then Lumi will still have pack tactics. Yeah, uh, she's uh, attacking the south one. Yeah, the blood is definitely glowing in your staff. And Fomo says, right, so that was, You fool, you uh, fool, you fool! Do you realize, do you realize, do you realize? Uh, how hard it was to get, hard it was to get, hard it was to get. They don't see me. Man, anymore. what a shame I can't understand you. 15. <laughs> this doesn't I look like an altar to me, can. right? Um, no, you see the rune of life, which when inverted is the rune of death, uh, <laughs> on all of these coffin lids, though, and you take a moment to appreciate how artisanally arranged the assets are, and how cool the, uh, depth on the, uh, rune was. Like the dungeon master <laughs> took great care of building 25, this uh, place. 30, 35, It was the dungeon master's job. This whole job description is building dungeons. Come on, let me move. 40. My stuff? Okay, no, there it is. Uh, Lumi's going to dash. 5, 10, 15. Yeah, so you see a Galgary down here. I'm gonna move here. Although that might be dangerous. Does that look like a religious thing to me? Um, I hope I didn't make a bad bet. You, okay. see a, you see two jars. You see the beginning of the base of a um, thing. And the carvings on the walls here look grand and religious. And they begin to speak of like the sun and warriors with spears held high. I think you might be on the right uh, on the right direction. Those are probably jars okay. full of people's ashes. <laughs> okay. Well, um, I'm going to stay here and hope. Gibancho, you find yourself between a rock and a hard place. Yeah. But you have another hard oh, yeah. place nearby, and it's a friendly hard place nearby. Oh, there he is. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> uh, okay. <clears throat> Hopefully, I don't regret this, but. Um, that means you're going to regret it. <laughs> yeah. I am going to cast Vampiric Touch on the vampire? On the vampire. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I am also going to activate card. <laughs> yeah. I'm also going to activate Withering Strike to make it so that all necrotic damage I do uh, Nick, um, ignores resistance. Amazing. Hoping that this guy's not straight up immune to it. And are you, are you, are you <laughs> wait, do you do, you do it? Wait, are you doing it on him? <laughs> 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 no guarantee that. <laughs> so who? Yeah, so who are you popping your shot at? Um, the the guy to the north of us. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so you pop that shot. To my knowledge, we haven't tried necrotic damage again. Also, can I step over? Uh, to get an advantage from blanket. Yeah, he's still kind of down, so... Okay, he's... wait, wait, wait. Quick question before he does this. Zion did, like, a check on vampires, and, like, we knew beforehand coming in that they were weak to radiance and stuff like stuff. Yeah. Did any of that info include necrotic damage? Uh, I think you've already seen necrotic not be that great against vampires. But not immune. That's the that's the gamble here. Like, are they immune? If so, I'm fucked. I wasted a spell slot. 
But so you if reach out and you give a vampiric touch to the I'm just making sure Zion didn't know this and tell us this and we just forgot. <laughs> Alright, so 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 give me that give me that attack roll. Oh my god. Oh, or you just suck weapon. anyways. Um, and it doesn't matter. So the you, you reach out and the vampire dodges and says, I'm to use my own trick against me. And uh, you know, kind of stops. Alright, right, anything uh, else for the but like after that I am gonna come up on this side mm. and not be a continuing to be flanked. You don't wanna be a kombacho sandwich. <laughs> So, um, um, yeah, that's my turn. I was hoping to hit because I can do something after that, but uh, nah. So this vampire attempts to bite Kabancho. <laughs> this is how you use vampiric touch. Oh my god. Yeah. They're rolling so yeah. well. Grab Which you. vampire? Hold on. Oh, the one that you can punch. The one that you can punch. Wait, disadvantage because of... It has uh, disadvantage. Yeah, oh, that's right. Oh, Thank I mean, it rolled, it rolled a 14, so... <laughs> oh my that. fucking god. Look at that, it was 11! <laughs> Alright, so... I it just don't punch him anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Disactivate shield, jeez, it's just that easy. Right, Zion? Disactivate yeah, shield. Zion. Yeah. Just as Zion. It's just, it's just that easy, just activate shield. <laughs> and remember that um, 8 of that damage is necrotic. Again. Okay. So we just turn it all, and um, all right. So yeah, you you you, you again. You, like he's like rearing back with the blood, like ah, push, and you punch him in the face. The thunder gauntlet Stop rocking that. your foe. All right, it's the vampire's turn. It's not the vampire's turn. The vampire's had his turn. Um, actually, the vampire has multi attack. Uh, I keep forgetting that. Uh, and the vampire follows up with an unarmed strike. To the body of the Zion, obviously, you know, against the metal. And, um, yeah, so Zion, it's your turn. Oh, uh. Situation's looking uh, weird. Oh wait, I took damage. I need to roll constantly. Uh, I pass. Nice. Vampire touch is still up. Indeed, Zion. And on your turn, I assume you want the machine of no image to keep like walking, punching. Yeah. Yep. All right, it walks, uh, it, it, it breaks off range on Garana, but um, yeah, I mean, uh, Garana does take that off, honestly. So she spends her reaction. I mean, she does not have one until her turn comes around again. Um, to cut at the Machine of No Name, that does hit uh, 12 slashing, but the Machine of No Name trucks on and pops another of these like a zip. Oh wait, Kavancha's hurting, right? Uh, real bad. He's okay, really um... I got hit with almost every attack. He's hurting a little bit, but no, it's fine. It's fine. We'll just get back up later. All right. <laughs> There's more broken glass and blood on the floor. All right, um, first, as a bonus action, I'll cast Shield of Faith on Kabanjo. Oh shit, how much is this? Plus two? Yep. And then... Shield of Shield for your faithful friend. Um, wait, I can't cast another... Well, I guess I'll just punch the shit out of this vampire next to me. I also don't suppose I can. No, oh, I guess it's okay. More time. Alright, you smack him. Uh, just cracks wait, upon the collarbone of the foe. Third nose. 
Alive? Or... Bird Nose is alive, presently uh, not putting threat on the enemy because he's like prone. He's almost died twice already and scared of his life. Yeah, you, you punch hard. He has, the, the, the he has gone down twice. The, you don't need the, it. The second one, you, you pound the collarbone a bounce. You pound the collarbone a deep crack as the way that the foe stands twists and contorts. If there were pain in the human sense so within it, it would surely be overwhelmed. The vampire cries out. Um, yeah, Zion, your turn? Yeah, that's my turn. Birdno scrambles away, uh, evading the off by Bean, but beneath notice, uh, realizes that Bean in uh, violence range is not a good idea. <laughs> and uh, let's see if the, he can do this. He looks at you. He looks at her. He's like, "Fuck, fuck, fuck." He runs over the glass. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 25. You do not want to go that way. He tries to, he <coughs> tries to power slide in. Power slide where? <laughs> he, he, he falls prone. He cuts himself a little on the glass <laughs> on the way. What are you doing? But he, <laughs> delivers, he, doing? he delivers one little, like, uh, <laughs> go get him. Uh, tap to the back <laughs> booty of his <laughs> uh, buddy. Casting your wounds. Uh, oh that's like no, shit! No! He can Wait, why heal? Aren't you, why aren't you doing that? You're so funny! <laughs> healing healing Kabancho for four. He was either up or down. He was either up or down. Yeah, yeah to say, be fair, that, that's, he was, that's he didn't fair. stay up. So he, he like heals Kabancho for four HP. Oh shit, I didn't realize he can cast spells? Like, yeah. oh shit. He can <laughs> He does work in a temple, so I guess right. he's either a paladin or a cleric, theoretically. Not everyone that works at a church is a straight up like adventure class. Yes, but hero. The, but, <laughs> but but the option was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so Tento, Elton, before disappearing like down this hallway, offers one last fuck you as he pops uh, this one right here. To cast another blood spear, make that deck save. Uh, I call oh him a fucking God. coward. We have to save this NPC. I don't care now. <laughs> uh, Peloton says, "Ah, you'll be meeting my entourage shortly." They're as strong as you are, then I have no problem. So, oh shit! He hisses. <laughs> Ooh, scary. <laughs> Tento's dead. Tento's so dead. <laughs> Yo, big for these Arguably, boys. Tento's in the safest position out of all of us. Yeah. yeah so, huge I mean, fuck off blood poison. spear flies through. And, and um, this is me. <laughs> yeah, you, you dodge it. Uh, Wait, does it hit this guy? <laughs> uh, let me draw a line. <laughs> No, no, it's cause it's, ah, it's not. It, it's just, it's only a five foot line. Oh, oh, wait, wait, is it coming from? Oh, no, it's coming from where he is. Yeah, okay, good. Okay, yeah. yeah. So I it's... thought I thought it was coming from one of the containers. No, oh, like like it was like popping out of the container and shooting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's an idea that I had, and then I didn't go with it. But that it would be cool. Five, ten. Five, ten. All right, um, you're not sure what Pelton is up to. Um, although you do definitely hear more distant sounds of glass shattering. And there is red stone lining that passage. <laughs> That's not good. Yep, so, um... Yeah, out of curiosity, all the uh, bloodstained and shard debris containers are all broken, right? Correct. Yeah. And but anything that looks clean is still there. The stuff that looks like it is full of cranberry juice uh, mm. is, in fact, uh, loaded with blood. Uh, the well, shit I only that's see like one broken. that's like actually empty on my screen. This is the only one that yeah. seems empty. Wait, shit. All the really? other ones still have the red liquid in it. 
Yeah, oh. but I see the glass. Like there's broken. like blood. Like there's like you can see the kind of like the broken glass. Like, okay, if there's the broken glass glasses or in your like if you if you look at the stream, you'll probably see which ones are and aren't. But you'll obviously see other things. So don't look at the stream. Um, uh, yes, <laughs> oh. if there's. So, shit although, I just want to make sure that you have blood splatter on like all the ones that are broken. Yeah. Quick question: Did th did Lumi hit this one on the thirteen? Uh, I thought that you. And Lumi oh wait! Oh broke no! 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 Never mind. I see. One. I see the. Yeah, sorry. I see the blood splatter here now. Yeah. I thought I only saw one. Okay, we're good. Yep. Um. Okay, so that's Pelton's turn. Pelton is fucking off. Um, the the royal of Pelton's entourage are like coming to the upper edge, looking down at you guys, but they're also fighting with the other others in the like the the. The, 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 the blinding light that's sort of like turning them to the, to the goodness and like, wah! And uh, they're very confused about what's going on there. And these are the Galgare's turns. Um, this Galgare kind of like, you know, like, like circles and barks at uh, Lumi and Lumi growls back. And you see a few more Galgare moving around in this room, Lonnie. In fact, how long is your vision range? Or no, so how you have, you still have your thing up, right? The thirty. No, feet? I don't. Oh. No, that's why I like I, I lost um I lost it. You do see some ghost moth swarms really. as well, fluttering about. Um. But yeah, so the the two on the side have their side duel the vampire and the galgare. Um, the galgares who have not yet uh, woken up to what is happening are still throwing themselves against Zion and uh, one of them is going to come out and step here diagonally and um, they are going to get flanking with uh, the far vamp but the other one isn't because I didn't explicitly give these guys pack tactics so um, okay it'll still be normal since I have my equipose Core. True, true, the true. The Equiposed Moonblood Core is out. Meaning, we are taking the first roll of the 14, not the roll on the right of the 20. Meaning they don't score Thank the goodness. So, yeah, <laughs> Thank the, fucking the, the goodness. The white, braiding, uh, the radiant blinding light uh, prevents them from landing their blow. So, um, is it, Zion shining brighter than the Celestial Dogs? Uh, it's it's a it's, it's a close one. It's a it's a it's a close one to, to call. Tento, it is your turn. To you are dead in the middle, and you look up and you see this like somewhat like you know uh, very very saggy floor that Zion was really insistent was about to collapse. And you look all around you, all these pillars, and it's so dark in here. Yeah, you also see on the upper levels there's like vampires like cluttering in like they're about to jump in and get involved in the fight but also they're hanging back a little make an insight about that if you want to yeah you get the feeling that like these vampires if they actually think that their leaders are not strong enough to beat you are probably going to run because they think that they're gonna die um additionally you think that, you know, they're kind of like, oh shit, our secret meeting is in breach. We need to kill all these guys and make sure that nobody finds out about us. But if something really, you know, opened it up. <laughs> so. Hey, Lee. Yes. <laughs> How would you. Da -da 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 -da. If I were to cast Entangle, oh. does that go into the ground, or does it just stay up, lay on top of the ground? Um, what do you ask? It like cleans the surface. Okay. You said it's how I up? The floor is like 90 feet above you. Darren, I think you should clarify your intent a little more. Okay, yeah, yeah. I definitely want to cast Entangle on the ceiling and then yank at it. You raise your hand 
Drawing sprout throughout, the divine light above nurturing their growth. And as you do, the ward falters and fails. As and are you are you doing this straight up above your head? Yeah. Give me a deck save it's... because the rocks are coming down. <laughs> oh shit. I mean this is what I expected, so. Oh wait, I have this advantage, right? Because I'm poisoned? No, so it's a Attacks and ability checks. Yeah, right oh, okay. Saves I just want to make sure. I knew it was one of the two. If it have also affected saves, poison would be a lot more deadly. Woo. <clears throat> yeah, so um, angelic light uh, from the sun streams down. Uh, as if though stored within the ward, for it's not yet full, uh, the full light of day above, but uh, all vampires sear and cry out, we are exposed! Run! <laughs> and, uh, Tento. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's, you've, you've cast Entangle, which I think is an action, done some moving. The ash cloud of Falmos is being singed horribly. You said I can't just bonus action and attack, as, right? Um, you have to I bonus believe action that's attack a, yeah. and follow up to a main action attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do, could do anything. Yeah, you have to attack first. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if I could do anything else with my bonus action. That I don't think I can. Hide. Huh? You can hide. I could hide, yes. In the middle of the sunlight? Yeah. I you mean, also run rocks into did come down. That's yeah, rocks did fall all around you and you dodged, dodged them. I should find a rubble or something. Actually, I'm just going to go and... Uh, you also pull out a melee weapon, go up to something, because there's a good chance some of these people are going to be running. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're not going to be running towards me, <laughs> so I don't think I should pull out a melee weapon. I should just have my gun out. I suppose I should just position myself better so I can hit, hit whoever's running. Or at least I have you a good line of sight. Right? Or yeah, no, no. Well, yeah, I'm trying to move, like, what's a favorable position to where, like, I can see most things. All right, so Tento, that's your turn? Uh, I'll just move 10 feet this way. All right. Whoop. Um, that's not on top of any rocks, right? <laughs> right. Uh, so Gorana okay, begins make sure. her turn in sunlight. She suffers 20 damage. Uh, she hisses and, and cries and is in great pain. Um, she retreats from the sunlight as quickly 40. as she can. Uh, Damn. do you want to op her, Rancho? Uh, yeah. Okay. Actually, can I op with Vampiric Touch or not? Um... I think you don't have to be a weapon you're wielding. I think no, opping, I Vampiric think Touch has spell... to be an action. So I think, yeah, I'll just I, use spider I spell. think opping with, uh, spells is a, um, Warcaster thing. Well, I'm not casting a spell, but like spell's already up. Okay. It's just I can use an action to attack with it again. Right, but so that you, is not you, this you, case. You Holy him. shit. You cut her with a perfect slice down her calf. Deep red dead blood splatters all around. Alright, let's see if I did this correctly. I did. Alright. Um, six of that is poison. Oh, well, poison damage. You might care a little bit less about the poison. But it's magical poison. Ooh. Oh my gosh, yeah. Rolling well, time to break out the casket, guys. You've already buried him once before. Hey, that's my first nat 20, okay? Y'all right, so... have, like, at least one already. So that's Garana's go. Uh, all right, no, that's not Garana's go. She's moved, like, five feet. She's not happy. Um, she's hit. Uh... She's moved five. And, um... She looks at you, right? And she says, We don't want to do this at all. We don't want to be here. But we also want you to stop. I don't think you're so pretty. And her eyes lock with yours as you make a wisdom save. Do I have anything for this? I don't think so. 
Twist oh, the Fate? shit. Oh, I mean, I don't really need it? Uh, uh, yeah, I think Twist the Fate's the only thing. Yeah. Alright. I've been a gnome! <laughs> don't eat it! <laughs> yeah, she curses and uh, uh, continues onwards. 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, uh, you have someone coming down the hallway on the far side of you, Monty. Hi. And she looks at you and she snarls and says, You'll make a fine consolation prize. It's uh, Balmos' turn. Balmos takes 20 damage in the light of the sun and is in a terrible disarray. And uh, it's their aura shrinks rapidly. Um as the ash flying far from its body is uh, a liability. There's too much of it. And it uh, burns away. Is there a token for almost out already? Blinded by the light. It goes back down to a 15 radius and... Um... <coughs> Yeah, it was flying up, but now it's forced to fly down, and it moves uh, into this eastern chamber. It's uh, it's seared. It's not it's not happy about the sun. Lonnie, it is your turn. Um, oh man, I missed your crit. We're all gonna this die. on me, um, our NPC friendo, Zion, and Kabancho. <laughs> I'm low key tempted to try it out on the vampires, but I don't think it's how I want. That's what I don't want to heal, anyways. All right, yeah, it looks like you've got your buddy up to full. Um, you see an altar in the corner. Four Gaugares all prepare to lunge at you. Eyes alight and uh, staring down at you across their pristine nostrils. These beasts okay. of heaven. What do I think I need to do? That one. Um, with that altar? If I, like, what I can tell from here. Because we've had different stuff done. Uh, roll a religion. Yeah, the first one you splash holy water, and the second one we cleaned it and turned the, uh, some kind of object in the correct position. You're not sure, although you do see the likeness of Thelatos stood over it with a spear um, with, a, with a trident uh, rammed into the earth and there are rivers flowing from the earth and the rivers are thick there's no color but the texture isn't water so do they look like they're about to attack me on their turn, or do they look like they're about to attack <clears throat> me if I come any closer? They look like they're about to attack you, honestly, on their turn, because you've, you've around the time you passed this, you probably entered the, uh, the shrine. Okay. Because there's um, those thick carved pillars to your north. Five, ten, six. I will take the op. All right, so a single Galgar bites at you. Missing. That does not hit. Do they still look like they're about to lunge at me, or are they back? Uh, to when, you, when you get back to there, they kind of they demur. They like, like they might not. Okay. Um. With a sword of blood, Gorana. Towers above you, even riding your wolf. 
blade in hand, stooped over. Let's be real, it's not that hard. Me riding the wolf, I think, puts me at normal people height. Um. Oh. Uh. Hey, I hope you have really low dex. Yeah. Um. She looks like she's about to say something, and light explodes from above. <laughs> A white red pillar slamming down, cutting the <laughs> Give me that damage. Holy <laughs> shit. Yeah. So twenty six radiant damage sears her more even than the sun. Ah! Damn you! Damn you! I will drag you down to hell and rinse your soul before I roast it on an open fire, you little shit. And uh, Lumi's just gonna dodge, and that's my turn. Come on. I. <laughs> I don't know. Do I go for the Galgar that I know is probably not immune to necrotic? Or do I gamble with a vampire again? Gamble, gamble. You won't. Also, the no Galgar balls. has a reaction, right? If I walk away, it's got an op. If you walk away, you'll hear Galgar say, I used an opportunity. Uh Alright, um, Vampiric Touch is still up, so I'm gonna use it to attack the vampire. Alright, just from here, okay. Pop that shot. Dead hit as you reach out and pull from your foe, and they're like, ha, I will, and then they realize that their resistance means nothing before you, as you deal seven necrotic and you heal for seven. Uh, I heal for three. Oh. I only heal <laughs> half the damage. <laughs> so. But. No, you're like shit. Vampiric Touch is still up. Hmm. Um. And. Oh, that's not a weapon attack, is it? Okay, never mind. That leaves me. I was gonna use Disarm, but that the. Uh... Oh, wait, no, it doesn't have a weapon. It's using its fists and fangs. Never mind. And blood. And blood. Uh, I could fuck over Zion. Do it. You want uh, no balls. So, with my bonus action, I'm going to use... Uh, yeah. yeah. It's not be really fine. He rolls really well. It rolls really well. Um, I'm gonna use a soak touch jacket, and what the from fuck the did you uh, say? uh, in the, from the emblem of my jacket, um, emanates uh darkness. Um, or I guess not darkness, not quite, but right, shadows, and it's gonna reach out to every non anorak within twenty feet of me, which is everyone there. Uh, Zion passes. Galgar passes. Because Zion's a wise, wise machine. The vampire uh, never knows the fail. <laughs> one. The, the, one of the Galgars has failed, one of them has succeeded. All who fails basically have Bane for the next attack. Mm -hmm. They have a minus uh, D4 yeah. on their next, next attack, attack or, or save. save throw. Alright, so um, it's about to just <laughs> throw that out there. Oh, we're going to hallucinate. How do I get rid of this thing? The, oh, the template? I can I can ace it for you. Yeah, but also like another though. It's like I can also get rid of it. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna move this up back. Um Yeah, that was my action bonus and I'm not moving, so can I So previously I did cast um, Previously, on higher. Goodberry. Yeah. Um, can I pass two of them to Verdnan without spending like an action or bonus? Yeah, I'll, I'll let you like roll Goodberry to his way. So, um, oh. 
Eggs. Yeah, I hand him some uh, uh, two out of the ten uh, small cocoons. Just says, eat this or feed this to someone who's down. Are you feeding? Are you telling them to eat like eggs? I mean, it was like, I, I guess you guys are cannibals, but still, that's pretty fucking weird. I mean, they're not spider eggs. You sure? Yeah, I gathered them myself. <laughs> okay. They're not from me. Last time I checked, you weren't really good at foraging. Right, so, Gabancho, that should go, right? Oh, uh, yeah, that'll be my turn. Yeah, can you be a bloodbender? <laughs> so, uh, the vampire... Oh, this is a bit of a legitimate question. <laughs> sees all this shit happening and is not happy about any of it. Uh, and they say, curse you, machine. If only you were not here, I would flay the tendons of your meat forms. And, uh, you know, thinks about it and decides it can't fucking win. The vampire uses Misty Escape. Um, this is a slain vampire. So, this vampire seems to be here right now able to trigger it early. Oh. Huh. And it sort of becomes a, a cloud of mist and whoosh, whoosh, travels to the east. Uh, and, Are you uh, saying it doesn't go into the middle of the room and take a shortcut? <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, that vampire pieces out. Um, Zion, it is your turn. All right. Let's uh, go over here. <clears throat> hmm. Taking something out of my bag is not an action, right? It's just a free action. Generally. Yeah, normally you can, right. you can draw out one thing uh, without a uh, biting into action economy. Cool. Um, for science, Zion <laughs> pulls out the mango. No. Oh wait, no! what? She no! appears temporarily stunned with the presence, so much to look for. the presence of a brilliant, brilliant fruit, and she snarls and says, "Do you think to mock me, to bring this glorious, glorious fruit, knowing I cannot eat?" Don't you dare sacrifice the mango. I don't care what else you do. <laughs> the mango must live, but the party must die. <laughs> yeah, party can die. Mango like has to the, go on. I like how the vampire acknowledges that it is a divine, like, object. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> it, is, what... it is the living dead. <laughs> and it hates that's all That's what I'm soul. testing. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you. Fuck <laughs> It's like a, it's a cross and you like just try to push it away, but you just have a mango just know. missing a mango. It's shining with radiant light. Yeah, it's, it's, it's is this radiant good. damage smack? So what do you what do you do, Zion, with the with the mango out and oh, nothing, I'm just holding it out. Alright, Garana curses I'm just, you. It's just it's just Fuck there. You. And then, uh, I'm gonna unleash this Golden equilibrium. I was hit by oh. dawn. Oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> All right, Let's yeah. Go. <laughs> because uh huh uh huh uh huh. Charge the energy related spell is cast upon, which means unleash a target within 15 feet as an action to various effect. Hey, Lonnie, could you give me one roll of damage from dawn real quick? Because <laughs> Zion has golden equilibrium. <laughs> It's like a big I always thing, forget right? that you have this. Oh. All right, so that's thirty radiant. This is like the you, the, okay. ooh, the beam of light. Sears Gorana. <laughs> ah. All right, so that's Zion's mm -hmm. turn. Or... Yeah, that that's my turn. Well, I still have a bonus action, so 
I might as well temp HP. <laughs> So sad I low rolled that. Yep, that's my turn. It probably doesn't matter, but you pump your fist as the op happens from walking away from the Galgars. Oh yeah, I pick whatever oh. ops. Yeah, uh, and uh, one of these is a negative D four on it. That, that's assuming, and they're all disadvantage. <laughs> yeah, that's assuming yeah. they can hit. Yeah, that's I assume it's not going to do anything, and but then... technically. I don't think and it then, hits already. Uh, they chomp and they miss, and then D4 has happened as they're a little dazed. Um, all right, so Zion, that's your turn? Mm-hmm. Vernos is up, and Vernos has the berries. Um, Vernos uh, tries to speak sense to Galgare and says, These are vile and evil things. Surely you must take our side. He presents his holy symbol as if though evidence of his righteousness. The Galgare is not. Uh, man, I would have supposed to say that if he was close, but (laughs) shit, man. He tried, alright? You know? Alright, so. Let me just tally up how much Pelton is gonna do here. Okay. Um, all right, so. So, out of curiosity, so, sun is coming through the ceiling. Yeah. So that means there is an opening to the outside. Right there is now. an opening to the outside. The air is above, uh, you know, you're, you hear sounds. Presumably did, someone's going to notice. Did anyone drop with, like, the ceiling? No, <laughs> Was anyone there? there? <laughs> But like, out of curiosity, you know, I just thought about that. I did bring down like I mean, it's the middle a of a public area. Yeah, it's a middle of a public space. Like someone's gonna notice this soon. So no, oh, no, 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 no. Darren's like, asking fell right, like with it. No, there's nobody. Who Darren's asking if yeah, anyone was standing yeah. on it as he pulled it down. Someone's asking if anyone noticed now as the fall. Yeah, it was like did anyone just like <laughs> in the rubble dead <laughs> or very hurt? It actually, you know what? Well, you are like muting and unmuting yourself. Oh, rather. my bad. Yeah. I'm so used to push to talk mm-hmm. that I'm just holding my push to talk button. <laughs> <laughs> and that's also my mute button. Ah, no. I can see how that's confusing. <laughs> yeah, that's the mute button for for Zoom and then my push to talk for Discord. <laughs> All right, so the Galgares wow. come out and start to flank Kibansho. They could uh, not, you know. And as you see the light in their eyes, you see one, one, zero, the other, three, zero. That's right. You know in that moment a perfect revelation. It is time for the 10.30 p.m. Eastern break. (laughs) Um, Thank you all for coming out. We will be back at 10.40 p.m. Um, We do have an audio live break, so you'll be able to hear us, you know, talk about the thing. Yeah, but it's uh, the game is not on at the moment. Thank you all for coming out, Dreamers. You will be hearing this in like 10 minutes because of how bad the delay is, sadly. But uh, we uh, we leave and we learn, you know what I'm saying? You know, something I just realized, if anyone was on top of this, or like on the walkway, or, you know, anywhere near that ceiling, they'd probably be dead because this is a 90-foot drop too. So yeah. along with the rubble... But yeah, hey, remember, before it happened, you anchored their feet to the floor with an entangle. Oh yeah, that's right! So they're even fucking more! <laughs> <laughs> look, look, look. It's like the superhero there's... movie, we don't explore all the collateral damage. Yeah, you know, collateral damage, what's that? We don't know what that is, right? Right. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you guys after the break. Yeah, I'm gonna grab some food too.
Steam. That's a Juno.
for you on the dock. I'm back just... Dreamers. Lonnie says, I'm here. Okay. We're gonna ghost the window. <laughs> um, Galgares were attempting to tag team Kabancho, I believe. Yes. Oh. Those earlier okay, attack okay. rolls were failures to hit Dion. And I don't think anything is presently disadvantaging them, and I think they have advantage, right? Is... Oh my god, is, is Kambanche about to die to some wolves again? <laughs> uh, I think they already rolled to hit, by the way. I thought those they rolls, rolled well, I thought those rolls oh, were ops for Zion. against Zion walking away. Oh, it's yeah. their turn now. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, you so suck Kambanche. <laughs> Yo, Kambanche about to die to some wolves again. Oh, she isn't back, is he? Oh, is he? Uh, well, well, I'll roll the damage, know. and if he reveals he actually had some way to negate this, so just they're no, it. they're no longer disadvantage, right? They're not. Yeah, okay. because. <laughs> oh the, right, yeah, yeah, because it's from the D four yeah, yeah. okay. would been used on the attacks that we used against Zion. Yeah, I got it. So Tento's turn. I don't. It's gonna is it, change is it, what they do. Even if they yeah, is it my turn? Are they all the wolves done? Um. Oh wait. Uh, yeah. Are, am I gonna get mauled? Oh yeah. I think only two of them can attack me, at most, unless they decide to like weave in and out. So. They advance to here. And they bark at you. But they're not coming after you because you retreated back at this point. So, um, hold on. I need to come. Back. You took 11 damage, Shin. Unless you can, like, decrease 25 to uh, below your AC hit. I can't. Uh, does someone already take the life for me or not yet? I, I don't think anyone has taken out the I don't think he I think has. I'm trying to remember. I can't think. With the... Actually, no. I think it did. I think it did. You're down to 28 now. Or er, so I'm gonna yes. add that back in. Yeah, game. I think I did. Because I think I was like, I'm fucking. I'm gonna move on. And if he says he has something, we'll go back on it. Um. Sorry, I was contacting Pat. Um. The Galgare. Um. Tag team, these ones move in. There's a further battle between this Galgar and uh, the vampire that uh, trails off into the side corridors. There are more vampires leering above, but with the sun, they all uh, recoil from the, um, the upper entryways. 
Tento, it's your turn, Tell. Hey, cool. You are in the midst of the blazing, brilliant sun. Although, the blazing, blazing brilliant sun, to some extent, seems to have been an artifact <laughs> of that ward that was holding the stone floor just up enough. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's going to murder hobos and chocobos. Thank you for the raid. Say like hobos and chocobos? Murder hobos and chocobos, yeah. Oh, okay, just want to make sure. <laughs> I heard that correctly. Um, that's 25 movement right there. Bonus section, move again. That's oh. I'm gonna shoot the vampire. <laughs> that's oh. <laughs> You'll be fine. How much health do you have again? Look, um... Lonnie's... <coughs> Lonnie's gonna get to the thing, it'll be all fine, you know? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, it is. Look, man, we, we, you see this vampire? I have one bullet left, it's gonna go through her skull. <laughs> Alright, so you're, you're, you're teeing up the shot? Yeah. Boom. White. Does Zion cover? Does Zion fuck up the shot at all? Zion like leans to the side at just the right moment. <laughs> it's like I said, Tento lean for a blistering uh, forty. Zion just raises one damage. leg. That's all he needs to do. Rocking sneak attack, eighteen times two, right? Mm -hmm. So that's oh, thirty-six, forty-four. <laughs> thirty-six, forty-four. That's eighty damage. <laughs> thirty-six. Yeah. Um. Let me see if there's anything she could have done. No. That wouldn't be enough because you scored 21 to hit. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. Her Misty. Hmm? Okay, yeah, cool. Her, her Misty oh, escape okay. triggers. Um. As she is like seared almost to ash, but um, due to the massive amount of damage, uh, it's like her her mist form is lingering for a moment. If you have any way to act upon it, I don't. Took the gun at her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nope, so. I I got nothing. I had the bonus action move over here. Oh. And um, I'm gonna move 10 feet this way. Alright. I'm, gonna Look, say, I'm helping. I'm gonna say be, I'm gonna say Garana's gonna take a full turn to depart, so we'll have that window. Almost. Um Yeah, so um there is a a wispy sound in the halls. Uh Eat them, eat them, eat them. Go, go, go. My hounds, my hounds, my hounds. Uh, as you see at the end of the hallway, Falmos appears and gives an order to their uh, hounds. The hounds' eyes go strange and they obey. Right now or on their next turn? <laughs> uh, on their next turn. Okay, but first. Cool. Um, almost, uh, moves here and uses oh, smoke tendrils on Lonnie. Is that it? No. Yeah. The smoke tendrils go whap and miss you. And then... Like a wet fart? Uh, the essence should be... Okay, so you're within... Your stab attempt to crush over their foe. And then as their bonus action, they uh, they retract one. Give a con save, Lonnie. Also, is this like a targeted... This is a target thing, oh, right? Like, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Non-AOE? Wait. Yeah, is... Um, is is uh, Sanctuary up? No. No, it's targeted. It's targeted. It's just one person. You absolutely shrug. It tries to find any weakness inside your form, 
and there's a red glow at the edge of your eye and like a white like the whites of your pupils of your one pupil that still has whites glows as the blue eye and Falmos looks and says what are you what are you we've seen you we've seen you we've seen you as you just utterly reject its attempts to find any weakness in your essence to come in and poison um Lonnie it's your turn uh, the Galgar are coming oh uh, uh, almost has tried to fuck you up a bit. Is Lonnie able to, like, leap off of Lumi and over the Galgare? Um. Yeah, you want to try? You want to try like jump onto Falmos? You want to try to jump to the north? North. Give me an athletics, I'd say, to spring from the saddle. Oh man. Oh man. You got this okay. just nat 20. You can do it again. Okay. <laughs> That's not the, the worst. Mm. Double digits? Double Successfully digits? jump onto the Galgar. The Galgar is very confused and begins <laughs> trying to throw you. Roll me a deck save. What are they doing? Is this new tactic? <laughs> is this fighting or play? I'm not sure. Yeah, you managed to get to the far side, uh, <laughs> you know, as part of your fluid move movement. You leapfrog <laughs> the Hound of Heaven. Uh, I'm going to say that costs you five feet, despite traveling okay. ten. Oh, nope, nope, let me move back. I'm sorry, Lumi. Lonnie's over here crowd surfing with wolves. Ten, fifteen. Oh no, your short legs, your short legs stop you yet again. Yeah. You're 10 feet out, you're gazing at it, you're looking at the trident this, stabbing this, down to the ground. Um, the liquid, just bonus action dash. How the liquid pours out in the directions. How it almost makes a pattern. Give me an investigate or a religion if you want. Think about this. I'm going to action guidance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's bonus action dash, you'll be fine. Right? That's it's what, almost like the spear is stabbing in... The blood is going, it's, it's, oh, right, like veins, like blood, like sacrifice, like um, Thanatos is saying that, uh, you know, to, to reignite this altar, you're going to need to bleed. Okay. Um, uh, That's what the, what the statuary above seems to indicate. Although this does seem to be a weird... Um, Thelatos, sorry, a, a weird depiction of Thelatos. Um, his face is different, his garb is different. Everything about the lower levels is a little different. I will bonus action Sanctuary with the tattoo. The tattoo ignites as you cast Sanctuary on yourself. All right. And Lumi uh, will dodge. Kiboncho on All ice. Right. <clears throat> I am going to. I passed my uh, concert, uh, contract, so. I am once again going to try Vampiric Touch against the. Uh, the Algar that's to my right. Yeah. Get some flanking. You, you give him the bad touch. I'm sure you that did. hits. Yeah. You deal a meaty. You, you touch, the light withers, and a deadened, opened. Like, flappy bit is all that's left of the essence there as you steal away and drink in some of Heaven's brew. Is a it uh, weak to necrotic for any reason at all? Uh, no. Yeah. Uh, it's I not resistant, but it's not weak. And all right. I heal six. Not divine, so they don't care. They don't have an interaction. Um. I don't know what to do with this. Um... <laughs> Why, yeah, yeah, high roll. You got 6 HP now, your big city fella. Take that down to the casino in New Orleans. I don't have anything I can do. I'm take 
two ops or I sit here. There's disengage. <laughs> oh, you've already used your action. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, this does suck, unfortunately. Um, but uh, it is what it is. Yeah. This bonus, this bonus action disengage. I mean, I can bonus action dash, but I can't disengage. <laughs> well, I need to cast a spell on yourself to do that first. I do. Oh, oh. right, it's an action to cast this one, not a bonus. <laughs> uh, no, that's my turn. Alright. Well then. Let us look at the them. Uh, Alright, so they fucked off. Um, the vampires in the upper layers are being to run. Um, Zion, this is your turn. You're next to like a gas cloud that is like sort of has the face of Garana in it, screaming, crying out in pain from being blasted by radiant energy. You feel like if there's something you could do to pin her down or, or hoover her up, you'd prevent her escape. Hoover her up. Where's, where is Hiroshi when you need him? Well, yeah, where is Luigi gonna... when you need him? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm gonna shove the mango through the mist. I'm kind of swirl You'll it around. You'll take the mango. You'll <laughs> take you, you, you reach out and it's like Tantalus being presented with the delicious fruit he can never taste. As she like, she, uh, you you bundle it up and it's it's like you're running a lint roller through a dirty floor. As like the vampiric mist gathers around your beautiful pure mango that remains untouched. You got it. You got her all wound up around the mango, but not touching the mango. What are you gonna do? Uh, I'll shove it back in the bag of holding. All right. Uh, she's now <laughs> in the mist. Your, follow. The mist is in the bag of holding. <laughs> now we've entered dimensional territory. Um, Wait. We have, we have, uh, do vampires? Vampires don't need to breathe, right? Nope. Okay. Okay. We, we have bag of holding. Oh wait, I was joking. This actually happened. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's, right, what, that's what that's what Zion does, right? Captured Kai? a fucking vampire. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Using a ball-like object, you captured a creature. All right. So that is Zion's turn. Or no, no, that's not your turn. That's just uh, I mean, you no. waved an item. Honestly, that's not an action. What do you want to do? I guess. Yeah, Kavancho is fine, right? Help. <laughs> uh, I don't think I could do much over here because I can't get past Lumi. I guess, yeah, I'll, I'll come back and help. Look to the lightning launcher. Now I'll come back to help. Right. You come back in rain. You wanna, you wanna smack a dog? Yeah. A divine hound with the eyes that burn with the word faces your friend Gabancho, and you smack it upside the fucking head. It goes. Do you want to smack both dogs or just one of them? And then you bring uh, down a hand and you uh -oh. engage in animal cruelty and very sad <laughs> noises. But these aren't real animals, they're celestial beings, you know? They're not, they're okay, not that makes sense. They're just the dogs that go to heaven, yeah, I mean, what's it? <laughs> Alright, so Zion, that's your turn, yeah? I don't know if that's supposed yeah. to make me feel better about that or not. So, Verdnos, um... Verdnos looks at all of this, and, uh, you know, he's like, damn, surely I have some spell that's applicable here. Um... Just straight up Make some vials. Oh yeah, is the is, is the machine did the machine break all the vials already? Oh, the machine, I mean... uh, but the machine breaks another vial uh, on your on your turn, right? Oop. Learn from the machine. And um... And, I mean, you know I gotta play the sound effect. I'm contractually obliged. Uh, 
All right, so that's a go of it. Um, and uh, that's Rudnos's turn, right? No, Ver this is Rudnos's turn. On Rudnos's turn, Rudnos says, "Oh, blessings upon you, Kavancho. Come, let us fight." Holy light of the sun is present. And, uh, yeah, he just fucking uh, casts Bless on you. Yep, the NPC is trying to cheer you on, Kabancho. How's that feel? I need it. <laughs> so you gain the benefits of Bless. Hashtag Bless. It's Pelton's turn. Um, you don't know what Pelton oh. is doing, and by this time, Pelton has more or less quit the fight. So, um, uh, the final question is of the final turn of the Galgar before whatever is going to happen with Lonnie happens. Uh, this Galgar and the other Galgar are both flanking attacking Kibancho. Oh, that's a good point. He also blesses Tento and Zion. <laughs> oh, cool. Um, this Galgar attacks with advantage. Kabancho. The other Galgar turns to Tento, sniffs Tento, looks Tento up and down, as if though not sure if he smells... Uh, the scent of some taint, or perhaps uh, a very deep cleansing, uh, and decides he'll go for like a pensive bite just to see if he likes the taste. <laughs> All right, so that's a hit on Cabancho and a miss on Tento. We'll do the damage for Cabancho. Um, the twenty-three. Yeah. You want shield? So my EC is twenty. I'm gonna try to twist the fate this team. Oh. Thank you. The jaw comes um. down and just <laughs> in that moment. As Kabanjo's body turns and the jaw snaps out. On oh, the it's dog. just on it. Oh, but that means that they hit. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. This is with it. the. This you is have, with you have, you have the face, of right? 20, right? Oh, yeah. Shield, shield of faith. Oh, oh yeah. Shield. Yeah, 20. Your normal eighteen is eighteen. Shield okay. of faith is twenty. Bless doesn't do anything about one. this. His that attack sucks. is twenty against my twenty AC. So yeah, it, it matches. F. Yeah. Uh, Unless, unless you can bless roll your your twist of fate, which you can't. We're not going to worry. That, those are D20 rolls. Bless right. is a D20 roll. Anyways. All right, so that's the Galgar's turn. Uh, for the one that tried to bite me, I'm like, bad. Stop that. <laughs> All right, and uh, the Galgar's in, the, uh, in this room. Well, <laughs> one of them comes up around Lonnie. Why do we leave Ronnie by yourself? <laughs> he ran you know, off. However, as they go, I was like, "Ian, leave me! I left you." So the Galgar, both of these Galgars, make uh, saving throws a disadvantage. Oh, because... that's with disadvantage. Okay, that hits. Well, I mean, all this means is that the one of them is going to get a ch is going to get a chance to hit you, right? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So they make they do make with advantage for the flanking. Um, I think that Ooh. hits. Yeah, do you want to yeah. do anything about it? Or... I can't do anything about it, so All right, go it's for an it. on-the-money hit from the Galgare. They bite into you and flame juts from their celestial mouths and scorches your flesh as they rip and tear for 11 damage. Are um, the other two going to attack Lumi? Yep. Uh, and she's dodging, so they have disadvantage, yes? Yeah, unless they... No, they're not because they're flanking. Uh, that... Holy yeah. shit! You're kidding me! Double Jesus. nat 20s, it was fated that a critical blow was to be dealt to Lumi this day for as much as their hit roll was, the damage, 20 Jeez. Oh my seven. god. Fire um, good thing that's the blood. first time Lumi's gone to hit this town fight. Yeah, um, damn, that's a fucking chunk they rip out. You smell Lumi's charred flesh as she... Oh, I'm sorry. Out. Um... It's the Tento turn to. Um. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I guess I'm pulling up my weapons. Mm -mm, sorry. I'm trying to look for the right button. Any 
wasting falchion lashes out, striking your foe, delivering a brutal 14 damage. And then, as you perfectly slide across the body, oh, uh, the the divine beast is left on its side, bleeding uh, gold and white blood, uh, very much um, down down for the count. All right, Tento, that's your turn, Toe. Is there anything else you want to do? Yeah. Are you, are you um, running east? Do I want to move any closer? Yeah, I do want to run closer. All right, so. It, Garana, I don't want to run the guy. Garana is in the bag. <laughs> um, you going to jump in Mount uh, So, I'm curious. Wait, if can I, I jump in Mount Lily? <laughs> Do you have half your movement? I don't think you have the movement speed to do it. Yeah, but... you do need no. you have to spend You have to spend half your movement to mount a creature. Damn it, I don't. That's fine. Uh, I'm also curious. What if Zion didn't catch all the mist? Like, would like would the bag just be outside of the bag of holding? I don't know. Can, I, can I move to here? Um, this Because of how Foundry works, it's yep. being weird. But no, there's there's a Galgare there. It just isn't showing you. Oh, okay. I just can't see it. If, okay, if I just want to make sure. you, like... I think if I I'll do like a partial move of you and you'll see like oh yeah I this, see it this okay is what's yeah, up. yeah yeah okay I just want to make sure because I yeah. would rather be in that hallway rather than in front of this guy <laughs> <clears throat> all right that's my turn all right Falmos sees you Falmos also sees Lonnie going for the altar though um I'm just here don't worry about it I Falmos just flies happen to be passing by in front of you and Falmos is not plea. They swirl and they say, you can't have it, you can't have it, you can't have it. It's ours, it's ours, it's ours. You are next, you're next, you're next. As, um, almost flies directly over Lonnie, retracts their aura 10 feet and unleashes a uh, grounding torrent as they just push down upon you. Give me a strength uh, save. I am great at these guys, don't worry. Alright, yep. so you are knocked prone and take 14 bludgeoning damage. Okay. Uh, Fomos's aura is almost utterly gone. It's so wound. They're so wound into themselves. But um, that's a decision that I not can say anything else. Okay. And uh, yeah, so they're 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 floating over top of Lonnie. Um, and the yeah, that's the situation. Lonnie. It's your turn. Almost above the Galgares to either side. The altar right in front of you. And you've been slammed to the ground. You're prone, right? And as okay. you as you were slammed prone, you like you spit and you look and you some of your blood is on the ground. And you look at the altar and you look down at your blood. Okay, can I like smear my hand in the blood? Yeah, you fucking smear your hand in the blood. You've got the red hand ready to go. What is the action economy I need to actually do the thing I need to do to the altar? To slap the altar? I'll give you a choose yeah. bonus action. Okay, cool. That makes it a lot better for me. Um... Okay. Yay! <laughs> yeah, you heal yourself for 18, right? Um, I'm a little surprised you didn't just, you know, block my path, but okay, uh, half my movement to get up and then I would bump over. Yeah. And you give you give the slap on the altar? Yeah. Alright. Uh, the Galgare are confused. They look between you, look between Falmos. Almost makes a uh, a rattling hissing sound, and uh, there is suddenly a beams of light stream out from this place. 
The undead here are weakened. You are heartened. And Fomos takes an immediate 20 points of radiant damage. As all of the Galgare look at Lumi and you and go, huh? Oh, oh, and then look over and see the swirl of vampiric oh, mist. Um, Fomos as a legend. Uh, no, so finish your turn. Um. Shit, that's a big half deal. Half is 25. Yeah, it's a fourth level spell slot. <laughs> I would hope it's a big heal. Here now. Actually, now that I do the math, I think that's like average. <laughs> Wait. Because max is eight and times yeah, four that's, is 32. Uh... Yeah, that's actually average. <laughs> is that your turn? There's... Yeah, let me just gonna dodge again. Almost does a legendary action to move, although there's something else going on and they don't Ignore ops with this if you want to try one op on them. The Galgares certainly are. Let's go. Well, this is a 23. Uh, AC, AC 16, you hit on the money. Nice. Goodness. <laughs> All right, so fourteen after is no. I'm really bad at math. What? Are there any resistances? I'm not counting the plus three because it's not counting that I don't like how they display their math here. Okay, so fifteen. No, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Okay. The 17, uh, because they, uh, it looks like the ash burns up with the fire damage that they deal with their bite. As if though they're, uh, this Fomos is weak to fire as well. And uh, you deliver a nice thudding 10 damage. Um, yeah, Fomos continues to fly away. And, um, there's actually something about Fomos that I'm probably forgetting, but, uh, Bonnie's as also Fomos now sad that so, she could just kept up. Fomos uh, does something. There is a sudden, like, tear through the room, and all of the pots start popping open. And a vampiric mist emerges from each of them. Well, I'm glad I got away from it then. However,. Uh, all of them instantly take 20 damage. <laughs> oh, they have health bars. Okay. They swirl up and they are singed as they are sensed to be slaughtered to buy time for uh, the fleeing Falmos. Which way this guy ran? South. Oh. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And, um, yeah, Lonnie, it's your turn. Uh, no, it's not. No, it's I'm done. Turn. I'm, I'm tripping. Yeah, that was a legendary action. I forgot. Um, I mean, I'll take another turn if you want me to. Yeah, all right, Gabon show. Uh, the Galgar look at you. They're like, oh, and then this one comes up, and then they, they're like, oh, the wounded one, and Verdun's like, I'll heal it. And this one, like, realizes it's surrounded by vampires, and then, like, a, a, like the vampires have defiled this place, and gives out a great howl, and starts, like, scre like screeches off uh, to the west. Dashing. Did Verdno say that he'll heal the Galgare? Yeah, Verdno says that he'll take care of the wounded Galgare. Is uh, this Galgare, Galgare also wounded. down? Yeah, that Galgare is. Oh, that like Galgare, dead, that dead, Galgare or... has been down long enough that depending on luck, uh, they might just be dead. It has definitely right. been three rounds, so. So, from my vision, I saw Fulmos over here. Did I see it go south, or not really? Oh yeah, you, you would have had a line to see Gal Galgare going south, and um, that Galgare, the Galgare of the south isn't dead yet. 
Oh. Oh, uh, the one to the southwest of me is not dead yet? Yeah, not dead yet. It's on the verge of death. It's it's two and two. Heaven and All right. life and death. Well, uh, I am going to move. Man, if I didn't realize I could still be saved, because I think I could have healing worded it like forever ago. I'll move 15 feet here. I want to spend um, my third uh, goodberry and feed it. Spend my action to feed it to the Galgar. So it heals one and should come up. At least now it shouldn't be dying. Or does the healing not go through? Um, the heal. Uh, so, yeah, you, you heal uh, at. For how much? One HP. Oh, for the good berry, yeah. One uh, good berry heals it awakens, one HP. It looks up at you, it looks around, and in the radiant light of day, it knows the truth. And, um, is prepared to go forth and uh, slaughter your ass. Hey, buddy, go protect your home. <laughs> as as Kabancha's like uh, holding in his guts, uh, ah, please don't right. hit me anymore. <laughs> so, Kabancha, that's your turn. Anything else? Um, that was 15 feet. I I'm just gonna chill in the center of this room. Yeah, the sun's feels nice. Near the light. <laughs> so, um And when I look up, do I see like is there any like indication that this there are sunlight is gonna go there. away or So the, the the sunlight is kind of fading but like the sun is still visible. Because I'm realizing you guys went uh, in like shortly after dawn, not like around yeah. midday. But uh you do so see, like, the, like, people are gathered around the rim, and they're pointing, and they're saying shit. They're so, calling down. Actually. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Um. I want to redact that. I'm here, right? Is it a straight so shot to the ceiling? Like, to, like, the ground floor ceiling but it's just 90 feet um it's the 90 foot drop yes actually we're not supposed to present ourselves to these two this this shit it's not what they didn't want a public knowledge about this right um, I mean, it's gonna be public knowledge, but it, the longer you avoid people knowing that you're the McVampire investigators, the longer you have before the vampires start trying to deal with you before you arrive. Like, if these guys knew you were coming to investigate them, they could have had someone fucking, like, poison your wine, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but now that we're here, now that it's being, it's I mean, mid-progress, they don't, we don't care as much, right? I mean, the daughter of Zacalaris definitely know who you are. Um, and I don't see any other vampires in sight, right? I do see one vampire token here, but have they all fucked off, or are they still around? Um, that guy shouldn't be at negative thirty. Um, these are like uh, they're fleeing. Um. The vampires on this level are fleeing, and uh, you don't know where they're fleeing to, but, um... Uh, Alright, yeah, so is that it for your turn? Do I split the party? Oh... Do you do the most uncombancho thing there is? People are gonna go right nah. back to question your resurrection if you split the party. But no, do whatever you want. No, nah, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna chill in the center of the room. Okay, so, um, vampires move, there's some clattering, there's cl some clanging, uh, mostly movement is to the northwest, it sounds like. Zion. What do you want to do? Uh, I guess I'll take my movement towards Lani. Let's see, 60. How do I do the, uh... Uh, you left the click to put a marker, and then you can pivot. 
And press spacebar to move whatever distance you've measured. I thought it was control. No. Oh, no, you press control and then left click to start measuring. And then left click again to mark it so you can pivot around things. Mm. And then press spacebar to actually move the token. Oh, you need his spacebar to move the token? I didn't know that. That's cool. He, okay. he said this in chat. I, like I've, the... I've explained this multiple times. It's okay. You don't. No, listen. you only. Should... This is your first time explaining the spacebar thing. So that's... Yeah, shit. No, I have <laughs> actually. And there, we've talked about this, like, just like not on stream, too. All right, so Zion, you enter the room. There's lots of vampiric mists that are probably going to be dead soon um, here. Probably going to be. Oh, I mean, they're turn. in the middle of light. Oh, yeah, they. 20 damage really did fuck them up. <laughs> uh, Lonnie's gonna point towards the south corridor. When right, so... Zion comes in. Alright, Zion, anything else you wanna do on your turn? You also got your. Uh, uh, nope. Your machine of no name. Is it just Smash. doing it? Machine of No Name That's is still smashing. Yeah, it's still <laughs> smashing. Machine of No Name has received no new orders. You hear the sound of glass and blood going flying. Ah, uh, there's a wall in the way, so I can't do that. Okay. So that's. 20. Oh, wait, it's not my turn. Oh gosh, I'm sorry, that was my turn. <clears throat> um, alright, so... I've splattered the blood. Yeah, I had to do. Verdnos goes over and resuscitates the other Galgar in need. They feel better. And, um... Yeah, they're flowing white and black manes, uh, brim with light and energy, and they are uh, prepared to go and uh, rip the vampire foe. Um, the vampiric mists, um, in what moments they are ripped back into existence, they attempt to lash out at uh, the creatures nearest to them. Which is gonna be Galgar. Uh huh. <laughs> which is gonna be Galgar, which is gonna be Lonnie, which is gonna be Zion, which is gonna be. Um... I still have Sanctuary up. Attacked. Well, unless then. a slap attack. Unless a bonus action slap the altar counts as an attack. I don't think that you were aiming to hurt the altar, so... Uh, I, I don't think, think I could, that. even if I wanted to. I really feel like, uh, yeah, it, 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 it decides to go for the Galgar. Um, so the Vampiric Mist lurches forth as it's being destroyed, um, with the exception of one that is um, right here and slides into the shadows. Um, <laughs> no, I'm gonna live, motherfuckers! <laughs> So, Zion, you were confronted by a confounding mist that attempts to slide under your carapace. Make me a con save. Oof. That is what we call an F in chat. You have 12 necrotic damage coming towards you, Zion. The Vampiric Mist is healed for 10. However, it had 10, it takes 20, and it fucking puffs. Destroy that <laughs> light. Uh, wow, what a spiteful mist. As does all of the other mist. Uh, the Galgares are somewhat Zion, sickened and damaged by this, but we're not we're Are not you super still always at full health? Um, it isn't taking any hits, really. He's also been getting. Healed. Yeah, he yeah. was also getting all the healing that you guys were getting. It's just that he also had less damage to heal. What do you mean, you guys? I get. I didn't oh, sorry, get it had. <laughs> you, no, you got healed at the very beginning. You yeah. should have gotten healed. Did I? 
Yeah. You were supposed to. From what? From I did masculine, masculine word. word. Oh. Like, turn one. Yeah, I didn't get when that. When she said, hey, everyone, take I must this have, I must have went to the bathroom. Whatever. Uh -huh. It's fine. <laughs> sure. Hey, sure. listen, guys. All right. All right so the Northwest <laughs> and what would have been Pelton's turn, you guys hear some um, sounds of, like, collapsing of stone. You're not 100% sure on, like, what all that's about. It'll be fine. Yeah. Right? Um, and, uh, yeah, so on the Galgar's turns, these fucking, uh, they, they charge. Uh, the, the light spurs them on, and as many of them can try and get into Rip Falmos apart. Um, the divine beasts are seeking to drive the foe out of this place. Um, they're, they're rushing all over, and, uh, yeah, I think that we're gonna do, 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 attack for you, and attack for you. I'm only bothering to, like, you know, adjudicate this because this is a guy you're trying to kill right now, so it might matter how much damage he's taken. Okay, that's a hit. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. Uh huh. Yeah, the fire particularly singes the the ash cloud as it ignites and blows a new spark. An incendiary reminder of a damned fate. And with that, it is Tento's turn to. Oh, okay. Eh. 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 Oh. Okay, yeah. Uh. Sorry. Yeah, okay. So I was here. There, there, there. So I can't occupy the same place, but I can get behind him, right? I mean, uh, if I bonus action dash, well, can I get past the him? There's no, also... no, normally, normally you can't, but here's the thing. Falmos is like mist. If you want to just run through him, you can. That sounds like a bad idea. <laughs> or is it a badass idea? Just open your mouth and just run at him, you know? Yeah, you saw what Zion, um, you didn't see what Zion did with the bag of holding, but like, we just need a container. <clears throat> I mean, I could go... Wait, that allows... Uh, my small size lets me go past, uh... Things bigger than me, right? Yeah. God, is he bigger than me? No, he's missed, so can I even go past well, him? Well, his size is medium, so technically, confused. so... Okay, well, I'm just gonna walk past. I'm gonna, I'm gonna you know, try to like get you over here, be I guess. Shot, yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, there's another one there. Jeez. <clears throat> uh. You're playing with the Galgar. Do do do. I mean, a button for it now. Yeah. You have a bracelet of light dagger. The hit. It, the blade comes out, strikes your foe, and uh, uh, deals. That's pure that's radiant. That's actually. Right, yeah, it's that's, radiant. It's all radiant. Okay. Yep. That was actually pretty low roll for my. So sneak that's attack. twenty overall for forty damage. Holy shit! You practically stake, stake light... him with light. So the bracelet mm -hmm. light dagger is that the dagger from? That's Tear? the dagger that Tear gave me. Yeah, light burns through Falmos as a honey uh, amber blade stakes through its form. Or is it? It's different. Anyway, the blade strikes through the form with a blazing white hot force that ignites all around the radiant energy. Holy crap! This guy has a lot of health. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's ten. That's my turn. Right? That's that's everything. I. All right. Moved, um, bonus action dash, and then attacked. That's it. Okay. <clears throat> so, Falmos, um, 
Lonnie, you see the blood in the container right in front of you swirl up. And then uh, there's, a, there's a shower of blood and glass harmlessly near you as Falmos activates the blood charge within. Oh, they can do it. Pain shot sucks. Okay. Yeah, they, none of them were like uh, in melee range of the ones they were popping. Oh, they even actually went to melee range, so I just got <laughs> Oh no, they were, um, yeah, they were, it's more of an in the neighborhood kind of ability. Let me rewrite it. All right. Um, so, Fomos uh, activates this and Fomos's aura that has shrunk to almost nothing uh, is boosted. Boosted? <laughs> boosted. And, um... The radius expands once more. And... Almost... Sensing death is near. Uh swirls out and uses choking essence. Uh, How it's about... a con save from every living foe inside the area, which includes Tento. How about no? Fool <laughs> <laughs> uh, me once, shame on this, right? Yeah. I but, mean, Nintendo I mean, passes, but... He doesn't you need can... it. Because As I was like, I rolled a 19. <laughs> fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Alright, they all fail. Fuck it. They all take 17 damage. Whew. Almost, uh... Dang, he seals for 34? Wait, no, there are three of them there, so... Mm -hmm. What is that? 34... Actually, is this fourth 51? one also in, in their aura? I don't think he... Oh, it does say... Oh. 34. Yeah, then... 34 plus yeah. 17 is 51. Motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, no, they're also in the aura. So that's actually a further 17 damage. Uh, so... Yeah, 68 healed to Falmos. Wait, how many things did he hit? Four things? Yeah, there was another one around the pillar. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, didn't see, I didn't know there was one right there. All right. And then Shit. as a bonus action, uses Essence Spear on Tento. Tento make a con save. Uh, yeah, okay. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> Bless can't save you. Sorry. Yeah, uh, that's fine. <laughs> I, um, I was I was running out of those, you know? Oh, thank God. Maybe I'm not running it. out. <laughs> well... You're poisoned again, though. Yeah, right. So yeah. Falmos on. Uh, so Falmos then tries to move uh, like over you, more or less. Um, Can I op him. Yeah. Well, the, will the Galgar get to op first? Although both of them are disadvantaged. Oh wait, am I? Wait, do they get advantage because I'm flanking? True. Actually, do I get advantage. So... Do I get advantage? Well, the thing is, they won't break your op range until you're to the south side, but they, they'll, okay, yeah. they'll get it because of you, but you won't because of when yeah, they break okay. off on you. Yeah. So they'll get Wait. to make it normally because of that. Uh, scoring two hits, scoring two strikes, 11 and 14. I'm just going to pretend some numbers work out more simply. And um, because the fire damage on both of those is getting doubled. So that's an extra, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh my gosh. That's a 10 and a 12, so that's 22 from the fires alone. Five and nine. So 14. Um, okay, so they've seared him back down below half, and then they are leaving off range of you, and I think you're poisoned for disadvantage. Yes, because Essence Spear. 15? Roll your bless, roll your bless. Oh, okay, cool. Four, one, two, 
74, it actually doesn't matter right? what you get. Be yeah, because it, it is, it, <laughs> the, their AC is 16. It's all you need. Yeah, that's what I figured. So give me that damage. Okay, 20. Uh, and does that proc sneak? No. Um, no. So, yeah, they're pretty I fucked wish. up, but they're there. Uh, yeah. It's Fomos' go. Lonnie, it's your turn. <clears throat> also, all of these jars are broken, but I probably don't have time to properly render that. Casey? Yeah, sorry, I'm trying to measure. Good. As long as you're, you're plotting. I know these things can take time. Nuts. Oh, we're getting the hold of Perserino. Uh, your target being, I presume, Falmos? No, it's Zion. <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> He's the only person who had a hold person yet, uh, so you have to look at him. Or it, sorry. Screams. You think to hold me? 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 And activates uh, their legendary resistance. Okay, I should have expected that. Um... Wait, shouldn't you roll first to make sure he fails and then do that? Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, Falmos uh, immediately is like, Falmos rejects the possibility of getting hold first. Okay, okay. Falmos pulls the I just, I just read the text and I was like, wait. <laughs> yeah, no, like really, Falmos could roll, see if it so almost had to waste the ability, and then do it or not. But okay. It's just, I just want to make sure. It's, it's, it's burning you. It's panicking. Dude, we actually don't have a whole lot of like save or suck kind of spells. What? What do you mean? I have all my spells. Uh huh. <laughs> I feel like you have no more spells. You don't have any more bullets, crystals. I do I just reload? Oh shit! You have another clip? I have two clips. Oh my god! You've been holding out on us. What are you talking about? <laughs> Reloading takes a whole action, man. Uh... So we get a pet familiar that has opposable <laughs> thumbs and they reload for you. Can I get a monkey, Lee? <laughs> uh, <courage> this. <laughs> you, can I get can I tame a monkey? Just to reload that yeah. one article. Oh, um Sanctuary oh. falls by the way. And what? Lonnie's going to do spores. Nice. Do it, and that's Lonnie's turn. All right, um, who heal? Who do you heal with that? Myself. All right, you get some fours. Um, Kibancho's turn. Kibancho's gonna move. Uh, Want to stay in the light? <laughs> Thirty feet here. He is Oh shit, yeah, no, they were under the shine, okay. Yes, I am going back and replacing all of those pots with broken pot assets. <laughs> you know you have the time? Might as well. In roll twenty this would have been like so faster, but you know. I'll learn. I thought it was slow because of the uh, latency, not because of a uh, foundry. Or is uh, it because of foundry? It's it's because I'm not very good at foundry, actually. Yeah. Um. I haven't installed the modules, basically. I'm going to spend my action to dash and be in here. <laughs> Surprise! Am I in the thing, or am I outside of the thing? Am I in the aura? It's kind of hard actually, to tell the edge. I actually can't see the aura. Oh. Um, the aura... I think you're in? You're in it, you're I in the aura. I, yeah, you are in just it? inside the aura on that, on that square. Ah, uh, yes, I see the animation, the, yeah. If you move you can, one you can to the see south, you'd be outside smoke of it. animation right yeah, there. Yeah, I see the animation, but like the edge is kind of hard to tell like where, yeah, it, yeah, where yeah. it starts. Um... <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't have seen this until I got in here, so that's my turn. 
Oh, all right. I don't think I have a bonus. Um. There was a stirring in an open, uh, uh, you know, sarcophagus nearby, and a vampire steps out. Like, what the fuck? Oh god, I thought I was getting away from all this. Oh, hello. And, um, <laughs> Yeah, steps out, uh, comes over to Caban Show, and uh, says, <laughs> "Time for a rematch, without your this... metal friend." And then they go for the bite. Just when you thought you were bite, safe, bitch. What <laughs> <laughs> uh, you were saying? So, <laughs> you have more than fifteen health left, Caban Show. I swear um... to God. You have less than 15 uh, health, don't you? I'm gonna use... I'm gonna use Serendipity in battle. Mm. I'm sorry, you're gonna use what? Once per long rest, I can impose disadvantage to an attack that I can see. Shin, do you have more than 15 health or not? Yeah, that looks like um, more than 15 health. Alright, so we'll make... I've got X amount of health. We'll make Shin. one more, we'll make find, one find more attack. Shin! <laughs> Solve for X. Uh, well, right, I mean, so... we did. Oh! Woo! Let's go! Heaven hell, and that one misses. Uh, they, do have, they do have a follow-up. They have multi-attack, multi so they go for the unarmed strike, which also Woo! fails. Okay. Also fails. Yeah. Shin, do you have more than 15 health left or not? I've got double digits of health. <laughs> Zion, <laughs> Zion, it's your turn. What are you doing? Um, yeah. I'm in the twenties. Let's just put it at that. Okay. <laughs> See, that's salvageable. I don't, I don't know about that. These guys hit for like twenty pluses. Most don't... attacks I've gotten hit has been twenty pluses. I was worried about that fifteen downing you. <laughs> oh, hello, <I'm> Zane. <laughs> Who did you find now? Did you find the other one? Oh, I found this guy. So out of curiosity, what is this ball thing? That is a vampiric miss. It's sort of oh, like Oh fuck, a... Zion, what'd you get in front of me? <laughs> Zion, like, no. step, Zion steps over you. Mm. Uh, you know, Tento's just so like distracted by everything. He just looks like, oh my god, what the Zion! How'd you sneak up on me? I will move the machine of no name <laughs> to the nearest. Uh, thing to be smashed. You guys see in the distance and here in the backdrop. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, best I can offer is some fists. Best I can do is fists. Oh, that twice. Right, oh, so. That hits. Yeah. Uh, you do have bless. I don't know if a potential fourteen would hit though. Um, Falmos Fal Fal is hit. AC sixteen. Uh, unfortunately. Alright, it's the uh, 10 damage. Thunder. Alright. Thunder. Yeah. Thunder the, thun cats. the thunder pushes apart <laughs> the dust all around. Okay, yeah, you got him. Uh, bonus action, might as well 10 HP. Boom. A blue light from within your core bolsters you. Yep, that's my turn. Uh, Vernos is off being a good boy. Uh, it's a Van Beardless <laughs> turn. The Vampiric Mist um, is is assessing its options and it's thinking about this. Is this sentient? Well, you know, it's it's a mist. Vampire. It's uh. I, I don't. <laughs> well, look, last time I checked, this isn't sentient, unless I've been driving through sentient well, mist this whole I time. Well, <laughs> I mean, Falmos is also rather misty. I don't know. Also, Zion has apparently some sentient mist in its bag. <laughs> yeah, you're right. All right. The vampiric mist right in front of Lonnie just like flies over Cabancho. Cabancho, make a con save. <laughs> Dude, what'd you do to the mist? I chose you over me. Oh my uh, God. Reminder, you are blessed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Are you blessed though? Uh. 
Not my dice he's, rolls. He's yeah, you know, he's less of these rolls. I don't know what you're uh, talking about. You had, can I see Kaban? You I can see, see Kaban. You have line of sight in Kaban show. You wanna no, flash a genius this? You wanna Kaban show no please the the the, the, the mists are trying to get in and you're What'd just, you say? You're, you're, how does it how you're does dead, it just feel? stop breathing. Kaban <laughs> <laughs> show, it brings you through just and you don't uh, get fucked by this thing's ability. Um <laughs> It's it's like a translucenty whatever misty form thing, so it's just in your space with you. <laughs> uh, the Galgares, um, the Galgares can pour into the room around either direction of uh, Zion, so they do so. Um, the ones from the west come to here, or are they? Uh, they're uh, chasing other vampires. Oh, uh, there's Jesus vampires Christ! They fucking rolled up on him. <laughs> yeah, they, Holy they, shit! They, they bite into the mist, and even though they're piercing, like they're not gonna hold on to anything. Fire rips. Holy uh, fire rips around their gums as they chew and rip and tear at their foe. Jesus. <laughs> That's like terrifying. I just see all three tokens like move around it. Like, oh Remember when you like moved closer to them, buddy, to give them an so, order, and now they're. So, I mean, now they're you know, I hate them. to bring this up for you, but they don't have advantage, right? They're flanking. Some of them are flanking, some of them are not. But aren't they poisoned? Oh. Oh, damn. That's actually yeah, right. point. I mean, it's okay. One, the 20 it's... was the first one. The 20 was the first one. You're right. Actually, all their rolls. All unless their it higher de rolls unless, are the first ones. Unless it defaults for the higher roll for the first roll, shows as the oh. first roll, it doesn't matter. I'm just saying, okay, yeah. So, so we'll go to the left roll. So, okay, so the 10 hits. Um, the crit. Yeah. Uh, we, we're canceling out disadvantage. We're not giving them disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Now, if they don't have advantage, though, then they should be at disadvantage. 